Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> we we got a bit of a slow start here today. Uh, it's been a chaotic day, uh, but now it's time to relax with some Factorio. Um, I might have... Hmm. What is this? It is this one. Eh, whatever. I might have bumped the camera a little bit there. Uh, but, hey, let's jump straight into game. So, oh yeah, uh, the one thing I forgot was uh, the actual command for joining in. So, ho ho, I should add that to the, to the, uh, title. It is exclamation mark factorio. There we go, and it should also be working by the bot. There we go. So, uh, basically what you got to do is uh, add me on Steam. Let me know uh, in, in chat if you're doing that so that I can uh, accept you. And, um, and yeah, then you should be able to just join in. Uh, but, anyways, let's jump into the game. So, uh, last we left off. Hmm. I think, I think what we kind of left off with was the fact that our supplies are drying up here at the mall. Uh, the coal is still there, but stone and copper or uh, are are low, and iron is actually being brought in from this big patch over here. So, what we got to do is actually start bringing some of these. These are already, I think all of these are already connected, these, these stations, so really all we need to do is bring the connection here to the mall. And, um... So basically what we'd want to bring over is... four to five things, like we would We'd probably want to build another one of these stations, right? Oh yeah, I need to, uh... I always forget, forget this, uh, for Factorio, but, uh, gotta capture the cursor as well, so that you can see what I'm talking about. Uh... There we go. So, this, this, um, station... Hmm... Huh. Well, I suppose we just need to build a similar station here, closer to the mall. And, uh, so that it's, it's able to receive materials, because it's still going to be a useful thing, even though we are sort of surpassed it in terms of tech and such. It's still going to be a kind of, kind of useful place to have. So we'd probably want to bring a hub station right here. We could have it horizontally pointing towards the Crash Memorial here. And just stack them like that. 
but the problem with that is that then we need to fill in this this lake which in on itself isn't um, in an impossibility to do at all but um, yeah it's just gonna be a bit of work to get that done uh, what I did what I remember doing after last stream was that I did set up a few um, random things that kind of construct a few of those things that we were missing like we have concrete production here we have uh, some of that going um, and uh, we also do have landfills being produced here which is the main reason why all the stone is being eaten uh, because it's just getting tons of landfill created uh, let's have a look at these mines now uh, the coal is pretty much full like it's not being used up by almost anything right now uh, all the stone is in use though are all of these? no that's dead that's dead uh, that one's dead oh most of these are dead uh, that's gonna have 700 in it uh, hey Morgan welcome in uh, you think you're, I'm too advanced in the game? I mean, um, I don't know. I mean, I can I can always teach you like the basics. So no no worries about that. Uh, we can we can take it kind of slow because and and you I I think because you've played Satisfactory, uh, it translates both ways. You'll you'll get this game pretty pretty quickly. So don't worry about that. You can jump in, and uh, we can uh, we can kind of go back in time a little bit and look at some of these things in a more basic way. Uh, that's no worry at all. We can we can easily like we can set up a, a small practice starter base here off from the grid or something like that and kind of look at look at some of the basics. That is that's just fine. Welcome in. Um, but yeah, so, so, I mean, stone is not high priority either. Like any, any of the, no, none of the resources are really high priority right now in here, but, uh, we'll want to get some of it. Oh yeah, need to check the copper mines as well. Ah, it does, I do, I do see the pop-up. Uh, friends, friends, request, confirm. 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 Accept. Confirm. Okay. Fine. There we go. Yes. I received it. Thank you. Uh, so you should be able to just punch in join game in uh, Steam and it should just throw you into the game. If not, let me know. And most of these mines are dead. One hundred forty-eight. But we have this. Uh, this is already set up and producing copper plate. Uh, so, so we are also uh, moving away from bringing in. We, we'll just convert this into taking plates instead of ore. It should be fairly easy to do because. Um, None of these resources are being used for anything, except here. Um, this concrete uses a bit of iron ore, so... That's something that maybe we'll keep there, maybe we won't. Uh, you joined the waiting room? Yes, of course, thank you. I will bring you in. Oh, I will also join the stream, boys. <laughs> Alright, welcome, Morgan. Uh, let me check. Okay. Can you say something? Perfect. Yes. yes. One, two, three. Test, test, test. Thank you. <laughs> yes, you should be audible. Uh, keep talking though. I'll, I'll get okay. you level up. I'll, I'll keep talking so you can hear how loud I am. And I have no idea what I should say, so I'll just say yeah. something random, which <laughs> makes absolutely no sense. 
That's good. Thank you. Um, perfect. That should yes, be. Yes, I can hear myself. Oh my god, that's not good. Um, okay. Uh, for some reason, it's still kind of. It's quiet. Am, am I too quiet? Because I can probably up my mic volume a bit. Um, hold on. Yes. Now, now I should be louder in general. Yep. So let That's, me turn you down yep. a little bit now. All right. So let's say. Okay, that should be fine. Good. Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a good level I... on the on the stream there. Yes. Um. Oh, Factorio is updating. I just installed Factorio and it's updating. Why that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, hmm. Good question. Good question. Uh, two seconds. That's yeah, nice. no problem. Um, I don't wait. Wait, I was looking. Oh yeah, at this one. Yeah, we have another dead mine. Yeah, but there's like there's no hurry for for anything right now. I mean, we might get into a situation where we get attacked, but otherwise we can kind of chill and. Learn some basics, for sure. That sounds perfect. Actually, I'm gonna grab some ore and we can test out a few things with this. Who carries ore around in their pockets? Me! Um, but yeah, so this, uh, should be, because this is only taking two bells of iron ore, we should be able to just replace these with plates, two bells of plates, and that should be the same. No, wait, no, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going to, uh, we're going to push in four bells of plates, because there are four bells of plates being produced here. So yeah, we're going to push four belts of plates into these, into this balancer here. And that'll work just as well. Okay, so I just realized that I can't play the factory that I currently have. Oh? <laughs> I, I got it shared by a friend, by the uh, Steam family uh, link thing. And yeah. trying to log in, so this factory tells me that my Steam account doesn't own Factoria, so it doesn't let me play it. <laughs> uh, is it, um, if you just launch fa Factoria normally, does it do that? Like, you're like not trying through to... Steam or without Steam? With Steam, do you, uh... Yeah, I tried to launch it through Steam. Yeah. But you didn't try to launch uh, into the game multiplayer automatically, you just normally tried to launch it. Yes. No, I tried to launch it into the, like, over your uh, friend page and press join. Okay. Uh, but it wants me to create an account and... Okay, yeah, that that might actually be a server setting. Give me a second here, let's... Uh, okay. Because I think there was something like, um, let's see. It was new, not new game, it was save game, save... I think it's this one. Refer that connecting player has a valid Factorio.com's account and the player name matches their account ah. name. I think I can... If I press that, it might change. Let's try that. Okay. Yeah. Use a verificate... Yeah. Oh. Uh, unpublic. Not public. Yeah, because I can't start a game. I just can't couldn't join your game without an account. Okay. All right. Let's see if that works. Yep. Uh, I have to restart the game, I think. Oh, and also I I just realized there was a... Now that it's not... Okay, let me <laughs> reload this again. So, um, because now there, not, there shouldn't be a password because it's not public. There we go. Hmm. But yeah, I suppose we just need to set up a train station here. Uh, I want to 
get the radar built in further. Something is downloading the map. Oh no. Yes, it's me. <laughs> the map is being hacked. I don't have a name, interestingly. <laughs> Something is uh, is catching up. Yes. <laughs> you, you have no name. Yo, <laughs> the red dot with no name. Okay. Interesting. Um, I think I want... No. No, actually, I wonder how you would add a name to yourself. Uh, you probably can't... Hmm. Settings? I think there's... Yeah, settings and other. If you... Esk, esk, uh, settings, other. There's a LAN player name. Oh, yeah, perfect. I think you can probably do that. Wait. Okay, now I should have a name, probably. Uh, player names. What? It's not showing up. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah. Let's let me let me catch you up on some basics. Oh yeah. So follow me. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go outside the uh, bot network so they don't bother us. Let's go up here. Uh, so, yeah, because you've you played. Um, satisfactory you'll be familiar with a lot of this stuff okay also, i watched I some let's play so i enough. might recognize some stuff already yeah uh it is uh oh also we should get you some armor at some point but anyways um it'll be it'll just be dark uh i got a few lamps Uh, so do you have anything in your inventory? Um, if you press E. How do I open my... With, with what? E. Yes, I have one mining drill, a furnace, wood, and eight iron plates. Okay, yeah, so you you have the same basic like setup that everybody gets. Um, okay, um, but because we don't really have any minerals right now to show, um, I thought we'll simulate something uh let me put down a steel chest here and i'll throw some iron ore here so we can just kind of imagine that this is something that uh creates creates uh well, it, it's a miner it, it, it's mining now <laughs> okay so yeah it, it you know the basics you like you, you mine things yeah so, <laughs> yeah yeah so um uh well, one big difference between Satisfactory and Factorio is that minerals are limited. Yeah, uh, I like, know that one. Yeah, yeah, you run out of them. But otherwise, yeah. like you have, so you have a miner that, uh, like normally, uh, mining drill. If you well, if you put up put down the mining drill you have, you'll notice that it'll show you uh, an arrow pointing to something, and you can turn it around with R. And uh, that arrow just shows you where that mining drill is pushing all the items. Okay. So that's the exit point of it. Uh huh. Uh, so you can, like, you you can place down the. Uh, oh yeah, you can't place down the mining drill right now. Uh -huh. But anyways, uh, if you put like the mining drill, imagine putting it like next to the, uh, next to the chest. You can uh -huh. have it push the items directly into the chest if you want. Okay, but that's probably not something you'd you'd like to do most of the time with miners because you're using like dozens of miners instead of uh, sim single ones. Uh -huh. um, but uh, the way you move things around is transport belts. I built a few here, and uh, I'll just drop an inserter here that kind of then sort of like i i guess simulates that uh, a thing is mining things mm -hmm. uh so 
uh, transport belts work just the same, um, except that they don't have... Well, they have, like, capacities and speeds and such, like Mark 1 is... Or, or normal transport belt is slower than fast transport belt. Um, mm -hmm. It's 15 items per second versus 30 items per second, as you can see if you hover over them. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but yeah, you just move uh, stuff around with transport belts, including yourself. <laughs> uh, in, um, in, in Factorio, there's basically, well, in, in Satisfactory, you have like all these constructors and assemblers and all of those things. Uh, in Factorio, you just have one type of machine with three, le three different levels to it. Yeah. Uh, so it's just an assembling machine that does everything. Uh -huh. uh, except for smelting. So yeah, you, you have the furnaces for those, right? Yeah, you have the stone furnace. Uh, so you can place down the stone furnace next to the uh, transport belt so that there's one space between them. Yep. And then uh, the stone furnace requires you to... Well, you make everything work with inserters. So you had a burner inserter, right? Um, no, I don't have an inserter. Oh yeah, you need to, you need to craft one of those. Uh, anyways, you would start off with burner inserters, which are... I actually have a few, which are these things. Uh -huh. uh, but they they require fuel, like you need to have coal or wood or something like that that you put into them. They are just a really really uh, early game thing. Basically, uh -huh. as soon as you are able to get them going, you wanna ha use these yellow inserters. So uh, you can actually pick that one up, and uh, and you can then I'm move... pick it up. <laughs> uh, so you um. Right click it to dismantle. Ah, okay. And uh, then you can place it between the transport belt and the furnace. Uh, and with the inserter, so the way the arrows work is that um, the arrow point, arrow is pointing towards where the inserter is moving things, and the line is where it's moving from. So you want the line on the transport belt, and yeah, like that. Exactly. Okay. And um, because this is a stone furnace, you will need to have uh, coal in it as well. One. Can I put also wood in it? Because I have wood in my inventory. Yes, you could also put wood in it. Um, uh -huh. But we can also imagine that we have a coal mine here. Uh -huh. And uh, let's place another inserter here uh, that gives us coal. Um, now, something you can do with transport belts in this one... Um, wait a minute. Let me move this whole thing a little bit so we have a little bit more room here. Uh-huh. Uh, so... As you can see, all the iron ore is on one side of the transport belt. Mm -hmm. But you can... Uh, so, so what that means is you can also have something else on the other side. Or mm -hmm. you can have iron ore coming on both sides. Uh, yeah. But now because this stone furnace requires both iron and coal, we can just have coal come in on the other half of the belt. Okay. So, uh... Can I, like... Hmm... Can I... Hmm... I don't know about transferring items. I don't know, I'll just put some uh, transport belts in this chest, so you can pick them up. Mm-hmm. Oh, you could just open the chest and pick up the things, but you dismantle the oh. whole chest. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. One of the most important uh, hotkeys, in my opinion, is Alt. So when you press Alt, uh, it shows you what recipes things are making and what's in chests and everything like that. Oh, yes, that's handy. Yeah, so I usually just play with that on all the time. Anyways, yeah. uh, you can play some uh, transport belts so that the coal goes into the same belt as the iron. How do I place belts? 
Uh, so you can... Oh, I think I know how. I can place them in my hotkey from the build menu probably somehow? Yes. Uh, you can go into into your inventory and then just drag and place on your on your uh, hotbar down there. But you can also... Uh, another way is that you can just drag items from the inventory and then just place them like that. But then How there's... You... you have to exit the inventory first, or...? Uh, well, no, but you can. You can. <laughs> Technically, you don't okay. need to, but oh, okay. you can. Okay. You can do that as well. But then there's a okay. third uh, option as well, which we can use right now because we... What's this? Oh, nothing. Uh, which we can use because we now have some transport belts here. So if you hover over one of the transport belts and you hit Q... It copies. Um, first of you... all, how do I board the placement of the thing I currently have in my hand? Uh, you just... Um... Hold on. Uh... There's like... You can at least play, uh, uh, press Q to do that. Ah, okay. okay, perfect. How do I usually... Oh, yeah, <laughs> I usually just like <laughs> double click one or something like that. But apparently Q, okay. is, Q works. Well, uh -huh. I learned something as well, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you, yeah, so if you hover over the transport belt that, that is down here and press yeah. Q, ah, then okay. it picks up or, or copies whatever you have. Uh, you need to place it one closer to the oh, okay. inserter. Yay! Okay. <laughs> you did it. And yes. uh, and then uh, the stone furnace, of course, uh, is going to be burning this up, the, this iron, and turning it into iron plates. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we want to do anything with those iron plates, we'll probably want to move them onto an, a transport belt. Okay. Uh, let me give you a few more inserters. Like that. And I'll also give you an assembling machine. Okay. So then you just... Um, let's make... Let's make some iron gear wheels. Out of these... These plates. Okay. So do you think you can figure out how to do it, Ed? Yeah, I, th I think I can do it. I'm still struggling with the controls a bit, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, it takes a moment, but... Gears... Where... I don't find the gears in my crafting section. Okay, so I there's... I should be able to look the recipe up there, isn't it? Yes, there's four different tabs. Uh, uh -huh. The oh, first one is are. the logistics tab. It's into intermediate products. There's also uh -huh. a control F for a search function, and then you can just oh, perfect. type in iron gear. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? I don't but, know. <laughs> uh, but it so doesn't I... show up. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, I, it shows me where, where my search results are, and I can click the tab. Yeah. I get it. So let's... Um, so let's not handcraft them, though. So you can, yeah, of course, you yeah, can handcraft them. I wanted to see the everything. recipe because I needed to know if I need anything else than the iron plates. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's just That's iron plates, yeah. Like yeah. Okay. But, but yeah, so you, that is actually a good point that you can also handcraft pretty much anything in the game. Uh, yeah. Or most things in the game, actually. Okay, not actually most things. There's a lot of recipes okay. you can't handcraft. But anyways, you can handcraft things and... Uh, un unlike Satisfactory, you don't need to go to any sort of crafting bench. You just sort of make it in your pocket and it's it just goes, goes in a queue and it uh, starts doing it automatically. Okay. Uh, let me take care, han handle the power thing here for you. Uh -huh. So you need to, of course, always have, have it connected to power. Uh, power poles create this. If you hover over the power pole, it creates this blue area, which is mm -hmm. the one that is powering. Okay. Um, gears, gears. Ah, looks like I'm making gears. 
Yes. <laughs> Great. And usually, um, well, you don't really, usually don't really uh, put gears anywhere, but um, usually like uh, assembling machines, oftentimes you'll want, because say this one, for example, if you click on the assembling machine, you can see that it only has produced four iron gear wheels. Um, uh -huh. They don't really have much of an inventory by themselves. Okay. Uh, so you can put them on a belt like this. Or on like a storage, into a storage box, I assume. Yeah, it can it can just go directly into a box as well. Uh huh. But it can also be like it can go on a on a transport belt and then into a box. Mm hmm. That's just fine as well. So yeah, that's like the basic. Like <laughs> that's okay. the, the, that is that is how you play Factory. Now you're a master. Perfect. <laughs> How do the inserters know which, um, if there are two items on the belt, two different mm. items, how do they know which one to feed to the connected machines? Do they uh, always grab the right one or? Um, yes, they always, they are smart enough that they will always, oh, wait a minute, do they? Good question. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Let, let me look at them all real quick. Um, uh -huh. I, yeah, I think they... Wait a minute, they do, don't they? Uh, where's something that's half belted? Uh, all of this is too too smart. Um, I guess most of the times you can just set it up correctly, but... Yeah, I mean, um, a lot of the time you're not going to want to half belt things anyway, but... Mm -hmm. mm, Wait a minute. I actually, hmm, good question. Well, let, let's give that a real quick test here. Mm -hmm. um, I think they only uh, grab what is actually needed. Um, let me test it out like this. I'll dismantle some of this stuff. Uh, like if we have a, a cons uh, an assembling machine here that is assembling concrete. Uh, concrete requires iron ore, stone bricks, and water. So the inserter here should only pick up uh, the iron ore. I'm pretty sure it does, but mm -hmm. now I'm now I'm like doubting myself here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's just make sure it does. Yeah, it 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 only it only like picks up what what is on the other side, unless like if there's nothing then uh, and it just goes into another belt then uh, what happens is that it always picks up the one thing that is on its side okay so i can use that to split off that side onto another belt yeah so that's a that's a bit of a it's a pretty niche um functionality actually it it, it, it can be used in some compact uh builds but mm -hmm. For the most part, uh, that's not really something you need to worry about usually. Um, okay. If you, because if you actually like, if you if we have a half belt like this and we want to split them up, uh, the way you'd most often do it is actually by using a splitter. Oh. So a splitter normally, when it's working uh, with nothing. It just splits the whole thing into two. So now mm -hmm. it's just playing both items on both sides. But if you uh, click on the splitter, you can notice that there's some settings for it. Oh, okay. And then we can tell it uh, that there's a filter. So if you click on the filter and ah. then go, go to intermediate products and say click on iron ore, Uh huh. Now you can see if you come out of the inventory that or, or the menu that uh, iron ore is now being filtered to the left side. Okay, I see. So now uh, let me throw some of this iron ore back here. It'll let that one piece of coal true. But now it's just 
letting iron ore on one side out and all the coal is going out on the other side. Okay, so the out the, the left um, side is the side on the belt, not the side output of the splitter. Um, oh wait, it's the side of the splitter, not the side of the belt. Yeah, yeah. Left, it's going this way. Oh my god. It's outputting. Yeah. Okay. Outputting uh, iron ore on left. Also, hello Naxal, okay. <laughs> in the chat there. Um, yeah, and. Um, so, so that's one way to uh, get get rid of the, these sort of things. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, um, we are far enough in in it all that we don't necessarily need to do it like this. Um, okay. Like another way to do this is actually to use uh, we we have the technology for this. Do it in another way. So if we okay. For example, have uh, two belts like this mm. going next to each other, mm -hmm. and we have the iron ore. Uh, where is it? That one. Actually, we can maybe use the copper ore now. Um, so we have copper and coal here, and then we can use the same furnace, and we can put an inserter here that is picking up all the all the copper, but then we have these red inserters. You can try placing mm -hmm. this one. Uh, oh, they reach w over one of those belts? Yeah. It's a long-headed oh, inserter, okay. so it picks up from one uh, tile further and places it one tile further. Okay. But because the stone furnace is two tiles wide, it'll be able to pick up the coal from that. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's another way to, to do this thing. Okay. And then, of course, we actually are already at the point where um, we don't really need to feed coal into the whole system because we have these things. Electric furnaces. Oh, yeah. Which just require electricity. Mm -hmm. How do I see how many inputs one of those buildings has? Like, I assume the furnace only has one input? Um, hmm, what do you mean? Like, I have the, or or is it so few buildings? Because I have the assembler, which has three inputs maximum, right? I can throw three different types of... Oh, I guess it's it's the width? It's, no. Uh, yeah, so, so for the assembling machine... Uh, what it does is it um, it's kind of the maximum amount of uh, things that it can like the maximum um, complexity of the recipe mm -hmm. but wait a minute I don't think that's a thing anymore the assembling machine can do everything um, yeah like if like this assembling machine is now Set to produce uh, flying robot frames, which requires four items. Uh, so there's there's okay. there's like no no um, input output numbered system thing. Like there there's the machines don't have any sort of like inputs or outputs. Okay. In fact, um, like a recipe like um, for example, landfill uses so much stone. Uh, that you would usually want to have several, uh, what, me? several uh, inserters on it, like this. Oh, okay. Putting stone into it. Uh huh. So oh, it's if all... you drag while you place them. You place a row of them. Yeah, you can just uh, drag and and place whatever you want. Nice. I As get why, of... so, why so many factorial players are complaining in Satisfactory about the placement of the machines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there anything um, anything else like... Well, one thing that's going to be a bit confusing is also the amount of recipes that we have available right now. Yes. Um, but, <laughs> but I guess I'll just follow you along and see what you're doing and uh, try to understand it all. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh, you, you understand kind of the basics of it all. So I yeah. think that's 
we can go and look at some of the things here in in uh, practice. Mm -hmm. Also, we'll go and build you some armor. Oh yeah, and stuff like that. So let's go look at the mall here. Uh, <laughs> blow those up. Uh, so this is a really complicated thing to look at initially, but yeah, that's the oil, right? Yeah, but don't worry about yeah. it. Uh, we we can go through the whole system, kind of. Uh, I think I like I don't know it um, uh, in in all its detail, but I watched uh, Kibbit's stream of Satisfa uh, Factorio, so <laughs> I immediately yeah. say Satisfactory. So <laughs> I like I've seen a lot about it. I, it's yeah. it's been a while, so I forgot a lot and. I've never played it myself, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we can we can look at this. I've seen it all. We can look at this and we'll kind of understand uh, more of the systems and what you can do because that's uh -huh. that's one of the big things. Of course, is like what can you do with all of this? Uh, so this is the input uh, of this mall. Uh, this is mm -hmm. iron ore coming in, and you can also see there's coal coming in. And uh, to the west we have copper and stone coming in as well. But um, so here we have uh, like in Factorio you don't have it's 2D. You don't have yeah. up and down. But uh, we have here, the first thing is these underground belts after the splitter. Yeah. So those just push things underground. Uh, you can't... Uh, if if you try to place like an underground belt next to an underground belt, uh, that's not going to work. Because... So there's just one underground level and that's it. You get those two levels, the surface and one underground. Uh, well, for one type of uh, belt... But if, okay. if, um, because this is another trick that you can do. So, um, if there was, like, this is not going to make any sense because there's not room to do it, but, uh, I can place these, the red, the fast underground belt here. And that's okay. technically on, like, a different level. So you could also bring that across from west to east, for, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh -huh. and yeah, actually, actually, like, you can, you can do this. You can build yeah. a belt like this, and it's not going to interfere with the belt that is there already. Okay. It's, it's only if they are like pointing the same way, because obviously the game won't be, won't be able to know like which belt you want to actually be using. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the iron ore comes in here. Uh, then it get, gets split here. This is um, kind of a splitter balancer thingy that just makes it so that the two belts that we have become four belts. Mm -hmm. uh, then it goes in here, and here you can see uh, it uses this sort of half belt system of bringing mm -hmm. iron ore and uh, coal together, mm -hmm. and it's feeding into these these stone furnaces, which are turning them into iron plates. So okay. hello, Cerulean. Cerulean's come in with the cat jams to watch us. Um, and that is producing some iron plates here. Again, underground belt over here. Uh -huh. And uh, all, all four of these are doing the very same thing. The, the, okay. all four, the four furnace setups are doing the same uh -huh. thing. And all of those iron plates are coming into this area. Uh, actually, wait a minute. One thing I, I don't know. Is there a ping? Ping and map location rolled. There we go. <laughs> you can see. Oh, yes. <laughs> you, you can see that. Uh, <laughs> hmm. How long is that ping gonna last, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's it, just there. It'll forever be there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this again is just. Um, this is a balancer. So the way the splitters work is that. Like, if one of the iron plate um, furnace setups would be producing less, uh, this just makes it so that all the belts are still being... All, all the belts have the same amount of stuff on them, on them. Okay, so you just split everything and then merge everything back to another lane. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Get that concept, yeah. That's... Yeah, the awesome. actual actual design of it is a bit weird, and I, I actually I've never understood how it exactly works, but it, it it's a thing that is, and I built it many times, and and it works, but I don't exactly know how. 
<laughs> that reminds me of Satisfactory. Yeah. <laughs> there, I get, I, there are simple designs that take a lot of space, but those compact ones, there are ones like, okay, apparently it works, but how? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, we can follow one of these. Uh, let's follow this one uh, down here. Uh, so this is actually going, it's getting split here several times uh, into different places which require the iron plates. But mm -hmm. uh, one place is this one. So here we have another furnace set up that is eating up iron plates and coal. And it's producing steel belts. So the oh, things okay. on, on here is steel belts. Uh, by the way, if you want to pick up, pick up anything here, you can press F and it will pick up uh, what you're standing up, standing on. Uh, any items okay so yeah that's steel steel uh steel what is what is steel plate yeah that's what it's called um uh -huh. yeah and these steel plates and then again being used up by the factory in different uh recipes here if so, i want to find out the name of something that's on a belt what's the easiest way to do that because i can't directly see what's on the belt right uh yeah i don't know if there's any any way not really. Okay. You just you just need to kind of <laughs> know what yeah. the icons are. I mean, um, I can look it up in the build menu. So yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, then these things just kind of go into these assemblers around here, and they start producing different things. And um, so the way this is this is a kind of a compact build, so it's very kind of. Um, complicated looking like this. I was yeah. going one way and coming out the other way and everything, but basically it's just assemblers and inserters pushing things from one place to another. Like, for example, here, this uh, this assembler is producing uh, transport belts. Mm -hmm. uh, by you, you can if you hover over the uh, assembler itself. You see mm -hmm. that it's uh, it highlights first of all the electric pole, which shows that it's gaining electricity from this pole. Mm -hmm. uh, it highlights the inserters that are connected to it also. So ah, it, okay. it's connected to four, uh, three yellow inserters and two red inserters. Mm -hmm. So um, the yellow inserters are taking iron plate from up here and iron gears from down here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the last yellow inserter is putting these things in a box here. Mm -hmm. And you can pick up some transport belts from there if you ever want. Okay. And then the red uh, inserters are moving them to this other assembling machine here, which is taking transport belts and iron plate to produce underground belts. Okay. So... So yeah, this uh, this uh, whole setup is uh, known as a mall. So it's producing like kind of everything we need um, mm -hmm. up until this point. Like we're we're kind of like halfway through the tech tree, uh, okay. And it's producing everything we need up until this point. But uh, there's now it's it's no longer able to really help us with the new stuff though. Okay. Um, but basically the, um, well, the point of this place is to produce both the items that we use, but also eventually come up here to produce, uh, these, these vials of science. So this mm -hmm. is producing green science, up here is blue science, uh, they have actual names, uh, chemical science pack and logistic science pack, but everybody just calls them green science and blue science and red science. Yeah, and so on. Just like you actually call, uh, like circuits. There's, uh, they call like electronic circuit, advanced circuit, and processing unit. But everyone just calls <laughs> them green circuit, red circuit, and blue circuit. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh, the the science is going up here to these laboratories, which then uh -huh. uh, research research things. If you press T, uh, it will open up the research tree. Yeah. Um, you can actually, uh, if you press on the top left thing there, uh, breaking force, you can then hit start research on that. Okay. 
I and uh, yeah, then they just start researching that. Okay. And they'll use up the packs and all of that. Uh, uh -huh. And that's how we like proceed with with technology. Um, okay. And you can see when in, in the research menu, in the team menu, you can see uh, the type of science that these use. Like Breaking mm -hmm. Force uses red, green, and blue science. Mm -hmm. uh, but then if you go kind of forward in the list, uh, for example, on the second row, uh, you have nuclear fuel reprocessing, mm -hmm. uh, which uses purple science, which we don't have. So Okay, I see. So that's something that we can't do. Uh, mm -hmm. yet. So purple science and yellow science are the types that we are missing. And then there's still uh, white or space science, which is then uh, like end, end game stuff. Yeah, after you've launched uh, your rocket, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, basically, so we could, we could research a few of these things, but then again, uh, every time we research something, it, uh, it uses up resources down the line and uh, we don't have that many uh, overall. So mm -hmm. any of the and and all the research that we have here isn't really going to help us right now. So okay. we can hold off from researching right now for a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and also one reason why we don't want to like research because that kind of just activates every machine that we have down to the mines and all of that to full yeah. full effect is if you press M uh, for the map and you zoom uh -huh. out with your mouse wheel you can zoom uh -huh. out quite quite far it should uh, uh -huh. by default have the have the red uh, cloud show up for you if uh, not no there's no red cloud okay so on the right uh, yeah on the right uh, there's the skull image below your minimap uh, that ah, yes. and you can click that, oh, okay. yeah, and it shows you the pollution cloud. Mm -hmm. uh, so every machine produces pollution, and if the pollution cloud reaches one of these um, on the map, you can see the red, uh, bright red uh, dots. Yeah, those are enemy bases. Yeah. So if it reaches any of those, they will start attacking us. Uh huh. So we don't really want want that too much, yeah. because uh -huh. then we have to defend ourselves and that's that's you don't want to do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh but yeah that's that so so that's also a reason not to have everything everything up right now uh, because mm -hmm. we don't have that many that that great defenses on anyways mm -hmm. uh what else what else well um, I guess we have reached uh, a point in our technology that we don't really we don't really need to build things ourselves mm -hmm. um, because now that we are uh, while we are here uh, wait a minute yeah when we are here um, you can hover over this rover port here mm -hmm. and it'll show you a green and a yellow area mm hmm the yellow area means that you're inside the uh, logistics um, network, and the green area means that you're inside the construction network. Okay. Uh, the construction network is also on top of the yellow, so... Yeah. Um, so, while we are here in the yellow area, uh, you can go into your e-menu, and you can go into logistics. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, no, you can't really... No, wait, you can. Yeah, you can do that. Um, mm -hmm. You, So you can click on uh, one of those empty slots in the personal logistics and auto trash menu there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can go, for example, into uh, the first tab, logistics, mm -hmm. in the set request, and click on, for example, transport belt. Mm -hmm. Then at the bottom, it gives you the option to... Uh, to select how many um, how many you're requesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so and they by, will keep my inventory filled up to that. Number. Yeah, by default it's one hundred. So if you click the green green mark, uh, mm -hmm. they should be uh, 
Well, for me, I already have some. Uh, do you have that many? What's now I have called? 96, so it, I should get a, a refill. Okay. If you hover over the logistic request, it should also tell you uh, if there's any on the way. Yeah, they are far on the way. Okay, so... Um, I don't know where the so logistic every one of bots those are. Logistic, every one of those bots carries exactly one item, I guess? Uh, yeah, um, uh, not... Well, I actually, I'm not sure what how many they carry right now. Uh, it can be upgraded. Okay, yeah, because uh, I think right now it is because I have four, I have 96 and four are on the way, so if those hmm. four are four bots, then I guess they carry one item each. But I'm I'm wondering where they are, because they should be here. <laughs> the belts are right <laughs> next to us, so... <laughs> I don't know what's taking them so long. Oh, they were bringing I... it from somewhere completely different, okay. Yeah, they okay. are. So you can see them coming in here right now. Yep, yep. And there's, there two. there's two of them. Okay. So you're at 100 now? Yeah, uh, I'm... Hold on. Still pressing Q. Yeah, I'm at 100. Okay. Yeah, okay. So they are carrying... I think you can see it in, like, bones? Yes, okay, yeah. They have cargo capacity of plus one, so they can carry two things at once. Ah, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, but basically uh, the logistics network is something that we are also kind of setting up still, so it's not really... Mm -hmm. Really set up correctly yet, but... Um, so if you take the uh, transport belt and mm -hmm. uh, like get ready to build it, but instead uh, press down shift while you're building it, mm -hmm. uh, you can place it uh. down. <laughs> yeah. And the bots inside <laughs> me happen to build them, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, if I'm further away, they probably... Come yeah, I, I, the... I turn the robot port off on me now, so... So now we have placed a ghost, uh, which you can use to plan things if you want. Um, uh -huh. But uh, right now, because it's inside the green zone or the yellow zone, uh, there. Well, yeah, it's it's going to take a while because apparently all the nope. Oh, yeah, here, here they are. Here they are. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. The bots come in and build it for us. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So we don't actually need to place anything anymore. We're beyond okay. that. <laughs> uh huh. Um, hmm, but yeah, I think that's kind of like, that's brought us up to speed on what's, what's what in the game in a way. Like there's of course a lot of, a lot more to, to uh -huh. it, but, um, uh, one, one, uh, interesting thing you can do also is if you press M and uh -huh. you zoom in, you can actually yeah. see yourself there. Yeah, like everywhere where the uh, um, the highlighted part of the map is, right, where it's illuminated. Yeah. So that's that's the radars. Uh huh. Which allow us to see in this area. Okay. Uh, so you can even, uh, for example, if you go to the west, uh, you can see our solar solar pan panels there, uh -huh. which are producing power. Uh huh. And uh, also, you can see up there. You can also see. Um, Especially if you zoom out, you can see those yellow alert marks. Yeah. Which are just complaining about not having items. Okay. Because those are still being produced. All of those, uh, it's accumulators that are being produced. So those are basically batteries mm -hmm. that they are producing. Uh, mm -hmm. And they are being produced he over here by where the chemical plants are uh, and the oil. Okay. So, this this machine here is producing uh, the accumulators. Mm -hmm. So here you can also then uh, we can act actually follow the line back and see what is what is taking so long with this because it's uh, if you click on the assembling machine you can see it's a waiting for batteries which are being produced. Oh, because it's red, okay. Yeah, yeah because it's red. Uh, and, and if you uh, hover over the accumulator recipe on the right of the assembling machine, you can see that it requires mm -hmm. five batteries and two iron plates. Mm -hmm. uh, so the batteries are produce, produced up here uh, in this chemical mm -hmm. plant above it. 
And here we can see basically that it's just because the chemical plant can't produce them any faster. Yeah. So it's just the speed of the chemical plant. Mm -hmm. And also because uh, the chemical plant is actually using half of its batteries to put them in this uh, red chest next to it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's something that's being like, that. that's one of the things that is actually still being produced by this this mall things that aren't like full because if you click on um if you like click on this uh chest with uh the solar panels here next to me mm -hmm. uh you can see that it's got 50 solar panels and the rest of the uh rest of the slots are red or orange mm -hmm. yeah. uh, because you can press the x at the bottom of the inventory screen there and then you can design how many how many slots are free yeah. so now now there's two slots so they produce 100 mm -hmm. but yeah um that is that so um what we need to work on is oh yeah we need to work on first of all your armor so mm -hmm. uh, this is something that isn't being crafted by the mall because it's something that's so rarely needed uh, if you go into your combat menu, uh, or your normal menu, and then the combat tab there, mm -hmm. uh, on the fourth row you can see armor. There's light armor, heavy armor, modular armor, and power armor. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to give you the good stuff right away. So All right. <laughs> if you hover over power armor, you can see what you need. Uh -huh. Yep. So, so I can just grab that in the mall here? Yes, if we had it. Um, wait a minute, we need to add some green in here. Uh, you can actually... I know where the steel is. Yeah, uh, so everything here, even the steel and, and stuff like that, is being placed into chests somewhere. Okay. So if you, if you follow the steel line, uh, you'll eventually find a chest that is taking the steel. And it's actually... Uh, it, it's up here from the split and it happens to be right here ah yeah, okay so they aren't exactly in like logical places <laughs> all the time but sometimes <laughs> sometimes you'll you'll be able to actually find them easily yeah. um, uh, although because they are in red requested chests or, or red um what are they called passive provider chests you could technically uh -huh. ask the bots to bring them to you as well okay uh, but that's gonna take forever usually it usually yeah. is just faster to go in there anyways i noticed we don't exactly have enough of these blue circuits so uh i got some in here we are producing a few more you need 40 of them right yeah uh yeah so and three more yeah, so the machine here is producing them. Uh, this this isn't like exactly a part of the mall. It's just um, sort of a sort of an extra piece that okay. is being hand hand fed these uh, uh -huh. circuits because this is kind of too advanced science for us. Uh, but it's nice so that you can get the power armor and stuff like that. Uh huh. Um, I'll go and pick up the electric engines as well for you. They are. On that, uh, oh, we actually, oh no, oh no, we are not producing enough of those because we are producing too many bots. Mm -hmm. Wait, we shouldn't be producing that many bots. Who's eating up our bots? Oh, I guess we're just okay, it's all going to logistic bots. Hmm. Okay, well, that's apparently gonna take forever. Uh, oh yeah, you can also not run through pipes, so that's yep. unfortunate. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why these underground pipes, uh, or pipes to ground, are nice, because them you can run around. Wait a minute, wait. Okay. Oh, uh, I think you were just blocking it or something. Anyways. Um, uh, ah, okay, so okay. once we have 20 electric engine units, I have four and I'm going to produce a few more. Uh, they are being produced oh. here. Did you get all the blue that you need? Yeah, I got okay. 30. 40. Yeah, yeah. So uh, 
you'll need uh, 20 of these electric engine units here. So we'll have to wait for uh -huh. those to be produced. Uh -huh. um, but let's see what, in addition to that, so Power Arm is going to be using modules. Let's see, I could give you some of my modules. Or we could produce some. Again, these are things that aren't really produced so so quickly, so it's going to take a while to get some of these. Mm -hmm. uh, exoskeleton requires all of that as well. Um... I guess we'll want to give you some batteries. So, uh, come on over here. I'm going to give you... Half of these batteries. Uh, I lost you on the map. Uh, I'm on top of the mall. Ah, in the north. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how to get there otherwise. Just walk around. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. No, this isn't. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so yeah, with the batteries and um, did you pick up extra steel? Uh, yep, I did. Yep. Uh, so with the batteries and the steel, you should be able to pr uh, produce personal batteries uh -huh. in the combat menu. Uh, so just you you can click on it or you can shift click to create as many as you can. Okay. And then in four total. Yeah. Then in the bottom left corner, you can see that uh, you're cra you're currently crafting those things. Uh huh. And if you hover over the personal battery recipe in your combat menu, uh, is it telling you you are missing batteries now? Yep. Okay, yeah. So you can see there also always like what it is that you require for it. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm creating a few as well. Mm, I mean, actually, we don't need exactly that many, but... Well, actually, we, yeah, we do. Uh, let me go and check on... This blue, yes. And these. Uh, I think we have enough electric engine units here now. So you should be able to craft the actual armor. Okay. Oh yeah, and the range to yeah. actually like open chests and such is quite, uh, pretty pretty far, mm -hmm. so you don't need to go right next to it. Uh, yeah. So I'm crafting the power armor now. Yep, I'm crafting it. Yes. Three quarters finished. Uh, also, pick up the stuff in this uh, chest. Uh, with is that. There you easier way to pick up stuff out of the chest than clicking it and dropping it in your inventory? Uh, shift click. Ah, uh, okay. Always shift click, I see. Yeah. And uh, then you should be able to uh, craft a personal battery mark too. Yep. I'm crafting it. Mm, I don't think you probably have red signs in your, uh, red circuits in your inventory, so I'll just craft you some night vision myself here. Okay. So you can yeah, grab that, okay. and also the portable solar panels here, from the chest. Okay. Got so, it. so the armor probably equipped on you automatically when it got crafted. Uh, so you can see uh, the lower right corner. Uh, yeah. You have your equipment. Mm -hmm. So the armor, uh, it's the power armor that you have on, right? Yeah. So. I get the power armor. Yeah. So you can right click it to open it. Okay. And you'll see your inventory and then the power armor on the right. Mm -hmm. And then you can go and uh, you can again use shift click or you can drag stuff over. So you can drag mm -hmm. over the battery that you had, mm -hmm. the personal battery mark too, mm -hmm. as well as the night vision, goggles, mm -hmm. and then the solar panels. Mm -hmm. For, for I the also solar. Got a mark one battery. I can combine the mark two and mark one batteries, right? Mm, yeah, you can just put all of all yeah. of the modules in there, mm -hmm. as many as you want, and uh, 
And I could wait a minute. How, what does that require? No, it requires a bunch of batteries. 45. We could probably get enough here. I'll build you a rover port as well to put in okay. there. So, what? Uh, how many? How many solar panels do you have? I have one, two, three, eight. Okay, it's a, it should also say at the bottom uh, the solar panel power. It's two hundred and forty kilowatts. Yeah. So um, everything like the night vision and the. And the rover port, if you pick it up from the chest here, uh, they tell you how much uh, power they use. Uh huh. And then you can kind of balance that with, with uh, like make some calculations based on okay. that. Um, but the rover port, uh, personal rover port, allows you to pick up some, some, uh, some bots. I think it's ten. Yeah, ten bots. So uh -huh. I'll just pick some up from here. It's 11, but you can grab those. But... Okay. And uh, then you can either press Alt plus R, or then uh, click the toggle personal robot port um, setting, which is at the bottom, uh, like next to your quick bars. You have the, you have the Alt mode and all of that. And to the top right of that is the toggle personal rover port. Next to the red red button, there's yeah, the construction my, planner. My Radeon graphics grabs Alt R for the Radeon menu. I can't use that one. <laughs> I have to <laughs> click it. <laughs> nice, nice. But yeah. So, uh, what exactly does toggling it do? So toggling just means whether it's on or off, like oh, okay, uh, whether the robots are allowed to do something or not. Okay. So actually, for now, you probably want to toggle it off because mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take a while for your batteries to to uh, load mm -hmm. and the bots eat up, can eat up a fair fair amount of it. Uh, so you can see Did your the solar. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the power next to the next to your armor. You see your power. Ah, yeah, okay. Or your or your batteries. Do the solar panels charge uh, the batteries from the light from these, uh, like the, the light that we're in right now, or do they only charge from the sun? Uh, just the sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, uh, that is how solar power works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, just during daylight. So, uh, -huh. uh for, for, for right now, it's not charging. And um, I mean, it is charging. It's very slow, but I just gained another percent of my battery. Uh, you shouldn't have. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But uh, but yeah. So right now we are. That's that's one of our limitations right now is that we are tied to solar power, which is kind of slow, and um, yeah. and only only works during the day. Um, but, uh, now that you have your thingy, well, one thing I'd like you to have still is, let's wait for 30 more electric engineers, yes, and then 10 more blue circuits, and some steel plate. Oh, I paused the game, apparently. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I don't think I pressed anything. <laughs> uh, but let's get you an exoskeleton as the last thing. Um, how much power does that eat? It eats 200 kilowatts. How much did you say you had? Um, 240 kilowatts. 240. Okay, we should probably produce some more solar uh, solar panels for you. Because okay. you still have like inventory space in the power armor. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, so you can you can see that uh, they require solar panels, which we are producing here, um, as well as red circuits and steel. So I can 
Uh, actually, you can you can pick up the stuff yourself mm -hmm. as well. So uh, solar panels are over here. Mm -hmm. uh, red science is over here. And steel, you already know where it is. Yep. So just uh, the red circuits, uh, the solar panels, and then uh, steel. And you can craft how many, however many you want. Okay. Um, you're going to be using up uh, um, wait you'll be using up 2 by 4 of your power armor for the exoskeleton uh -huh. but otherwise as much as you can you can fill up with solar panel panels if you want okay that just speeds up your production of power of course mhm uh -huh. Um, where do you go? Oh, over here. Trying to find the, find the steel. It was somewhere around here. <laughs> yeah, you you went past uh, it already. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, it takes a while uh, to. Ah, uh, there it is. It takes a while to find anything in in this, and and this is also like a like a, a blueprint. I I I I took off factory prints, so I haven't made this myself. So it takes a while for me as well to find it find some of these things. I see, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll put it in the steel chest. So from that steel chest you can pick up the exoskeleton. Okay. Which just uh, makes you go fast. Alright, thank you very much. So you can put that in your power armor and then all the uh, portable solar panels you want. Uh huh. And it's Alt E to toggle the exoskeleton, or then click the button at the bottom. Okay. So, um, yeah. uh, so you can you can keep adding the solar panels as you go. Uh, so anytime you're running around with the exoskeleton, it's using up some power. But as long as you have more than uh, more than uh, 200 kilowatts of solar panel power, then at least during the day it will always charge your batteries while you are running around. Yeah, I do. I have 400 kilowatt now. Yeah. Or 20 kilowatts. Yeah. Okay, but uh, let's get to work on something. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, so, uh, so our problem with the mall right now is, um, as I said, we are missing some resources. Like if you go over and look at the input for, for copper and stone here, we can clearly see that there's some sort of problem. Oh yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> these belts need to be full. Yeah. So, um, the thing is that we are in the starting zone. Uh, so we are kind of just we have we are pretty much used up the resources in here mm -hmm. uh, So here's some minor drills uh, You can see on these there's the there's a small light uh, That is green on some of these and red on some of these Yeah, so red means that there's nothing for it to mine anymore Okay, so we can just remove those and remove all the belts and stuff mm -hmm. Um. So you can pick up any red, red miners you see. Um, okay. Also, uh, of note with the miners, when you hover over it, mm -hmm. it shows you this uh, highlighted area. Mm -hmm. That's the tiles that is actually mining from. So. Okay. So the miners pick up stuff from one tile further than the actual miner is. That's that's a good thing to note about them. One uh, tile further. Yeah, mm. like like uh, I can stand here like, and it's going to be mining from under me if there was any resources under oh, me. Oh, that highlight is on. I get it. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So you yeah. could space them further apart. Actually, you wouldn't have to place them so um, close to each other. Um, yes, technically, yeah. Um, although. Um, well, yeah, yeah, you can, you can, but uh, the thing is, you want them to mine as 
fast as possible. You want to mine as much and as fast as possible. So you, most of most of the time, you're you're gonna want to have them next to each other like this. Okay. Uh, but it's just a note so that you know because you need to have power for these. Uh, so for example, mm -hmm. here we have a power pole between them. Yeah. But that doesn't matter because these are still mining the area between them, even though there's mm -hmm. space there. And also, even though there's this transport belt, they are mining under the transport belt as well. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but let's do the same for this copper. Copper over here. It's also dead. Uh, oh, we have this one. One thing mm -hmm. dead here. Um, now that you have robots, so in addition to being able to just like... Uh, right-click things. You can do. You can click the red uh, thing next to your toggle personal robot port thing, which is the deconstruction planner, or you can uh -huh. do Alt D if you like hotkeys. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, then you can just highlight. You can just like you can drag over all of these uh, yeah. these transport belts down here. And then um, is your robot port not on? No, it's not. A, it's okay, not. yeah, <laughs> thought so. Uh, so yeah, then your robots just go and do that for you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one they are not going to because this is actually uh, if you if you um uh, wait 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 where is it? Oh, it's it's all the way up there. Um, wait, while you have the deconstructor, for example selected you can see where the area of the rover port is you can see that this area is highlighted in green and not just the green uh -huh. around you uh, so that is because now one of the robots from our actual like network is coming in here and it took that away oh, okay yeah. i see uh-huh yeah so uh like if if we just put the construction if the construction on all of this uh some of your robots are going to do that, but most of the work is going to be done by uh, the robots in our actual network because it's inside the green zone. Okay. And you can use so this is where it where where the map comes in. So if you go into uh, the map and zoom in, then mm -hmm. you don't need to actually walk around yourself. So you can oh, see. Oh yeah, I see. You can see that I'm like deconstructing things already here, far far away from us. Uh huh. Like if How you do I get out of the deconstruction menu. Uh, again, uh, just Q. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Uh huh. But you can see, like, I already deconstructed all the way to the mall itself. Yeah. This whole whole line is done. Uh huh. And our bots are just taking care of that. So. Uh huh. So like, eventually, you don't really need to walk anywhere in this game. <laughs> you can just. <laughs> <laughs> you can just stand around and let the bots do everything. I see, okay. Yeah, but we're not exactly like exactly there yet. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so yeah, this is the problem we have right now, is that we don't have resources coming in. And um, copper is something that... So, uh, if you remember, accumulators are the things that we are actually producing at the mall right now. Uh -huh. And uh, accumulators do require copper the whole recipe chain for for it is it's kind of long but anyways it, it requires copper at the beginning of it okay uh-huh so eventually this uh the accumulator production is going to stop because it's not gaining any copper mm -hmm. so uh the solution that i think we'll go with is trains uh mm -hmm. we are actually mining copper already uh up uh like north east on the map, you, you can see that we have some copper mines. Um, so what we're going to do is we need to set up a train station. Uh, now, this is something that is um, it's a bit more complex, but OK. So if you press B, mm -hmm. you have blueprints. Uh, in game blueprints, you should be able to see three books. Yeah. Yeah. So these are uh blueprints that you can use. You can uh you can um right click on one of the books. Mm -hmm. And then um in the settings in the top 
right or on the right mm -hmm. you can find a create a copy of this next to the green button mm -hmm. so that'll create another book in your hand and you can place that in your inventory okay and then in the blueprint book uh, you can open up one of these things uh, let's actually go to the rails uh, so we can place some So, up here we have some rails. Mm -hmm. um, you should open up, uh, you should get the blueprint book for two-lane RHD tracks. So I can go in and copy that into your inventory. Do I have to have it in my inventory or can I also use it from the... Uh, you can use you can use it from there, but I think that you might accidentally delete it from the game blueprints. So I see. Okay. Just to be safe, uh, it's better to copy it to the inventory, or you can I copy see, it I'll over. It in my inventory. Yeah, you can also copy it over to my blueprints on on there. You can put your blueprint book in there as well. Yeah, I got it there. Yeah. Uh, or then just, you can have it in your normal inventory, and then you can also drag it over to your hot, hot bar. So, ah, I see, okay. So, for example, I have on my second hot bar. Uh, you can also scroll through those with a uh, shift and a number, so you can change what the top hot bar is. Oh, that's so much better than all scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and then you can just... Uh, use your number keys to select a particular particular uh, thing there. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyways, um, if you open the two ha uh, two lane RHG tracks book, um, you find several blueprints. The mm -hmm. one we need uh, right now is straight rail. Okay. The S. So when you get that out. This this blueprint is made so that it um, it snaps to a to a grid. So you might notice that you're not able to like build it just anywhere. It kind of snaps to different spots. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, it's pretty easy. Um, you just take the straight rail and you hover hover it over so that it kind of connects to these two rails that are up here already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you just uh, you just click, and that creates a ghost of it. Okay. And I happen to have some of these materials in my inventory, so I'll build some of them because I think actually we are, I think we are outside of the bot network here. So yeah, we are. Yeah, so we should actually build. Uh, so I'm placing a ghost for. A roboport here. I think we have some roboports in in storage somewhere. Uh, so I'll place some of those down. Uh, roboports have actually you should you should do this. So um, uh, wait a minute. Uh, 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 Can't build another one. Uh, wait, what are these bots? Oh yeah, some of it is actually in the in the area, so the bots are coming over to yeah. do that. Uh, ah, yeah, here's one that bring a rubber port here. So, so let's let's look at one one more thing um, that is a bit different to build. So, if you press Q on this rubber port here that was just built, you get to pick one up. Or you get like the ability to build a ghost. Uh, doesn't work for me. Uh, if you press Q on the rope port. Nope, I don't get the copy of it. Hmm. Strange. Like yeah. you just you just hover over it and press Q. Yeah. Do you have something nope. uh, else selected? Or anything else uh, open? No, I have nothing open. 
And I'm like, I'm not in the build menu or something, but I can't copy anything with Q. Hmm. Do you have the it worked before. blueprint selected still somehow or something? I mean, I, there's nothing showing. I just have the regular cursor and if I click somewhere, nothing happens. Huh. Can you deconstruct this robot? Um, yep, I can. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that works as well. Uh, you can then <laughs> then select the robot. Okay. And um, so while you're moving it around, you can see that you have the orange and the green areas yes. that show up. Um, so the way the logistics network works is that you need to have the orange areas con uh, touching each other. So that the yellow... The yellow line uh, appears. Line show up. Yeah. yeah. And here you want want to bring it so that, well, to the point where it was already built, uh, of course. Yeah. Uh, but so that it connects to both. Uh, so it will connect, the dash line will connect to the uh, to the right, uh, or east, south, and southwest. Okay. Because that's where uh, there are other rubber ports. Yeah. So then you place it down there, and then it's connected, and it's all one network. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you can also, well, we can create several networks of rover ports, but now they are all in the one uh, network. Okay. And that increased the area a little bit, uh, but we'll need to increase it once more. So I'll just create another one here. And uh, another thing that rover ports require is power, so I'm just bringing some big power poles here that bring mm -hmm. bring some more power. Uh, but yeah, then we need to... We'll need to... Let's see. Hmm. I think we need to turn around already, so... From the two-handed... Two... Two... Uh, two lane... At the... <laughs> the tracks blueprint. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can find several different uh, junctions and uh, roundabouts and everything like that. Uh huh. Um, I think what we'll probably want to use in this one is a roundabout treeway. Okay. Uh, so you can place that uh, continue on with the tracks, so that it opens up to the south, so the tracks okay. continue to the south. South and uh, west. So it's a T. There's a tree in there. Um, yeah, so if you shift and then click, then it allows ah. you to um, place it even if there's something in the way. And then the oh, robots okay. robots will just come in here and deconstruct those trees. Nice. <laughs> so you don't... You, you can also always... You can go and uh, right-click a tree and you can cut it down. Okay. <laughs> um, trees are in in uh, in Factorio. Trees are good and bad. Uh, they are bad because they are blocking you. But uh -huh. there's the the good thing about the trees is that they um, when you pollute the planet, <laughs> the the trees uh, eat up some of the pollution. Oh, okay. And they die. Uh, so. <laughs> so so they they will kind of help you uh, manage a little bit of pollution um uh -huh. and and that's actually one of the reasons if you look at the pollution cloud on the map uh why it's so so um why it's not uniform yeah because sometimes it's being eaten up by trees and uh for example if it goes over water it spreads more mm -hmm. uh this area is grassy so the grass area actually eats up more pollution it's mm -hmm. it's it's a weird complex system you don't really need to worry about it but about, about okay. it too much um but anyways so now we have this uh railroad coming in um i'm gonna do another one of the uh blueprints so i'm using mm -hmm. the, the 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 modular balanced no wait what's the blueprint book actually called it's the yeah modular balanced blueprint book with main on it uh, in, in the game blueprints 
So I'll use that, and I'm going to place a station backbone, the first one, mm -hmm. and I'll place it here because, uh, oh, it's going to be eating up into those. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. So if you have anything that is like constructed by the player themselves, you won't be able to mm -hmm. shift click through that. Okay, uh, it's see. not going to allow to place those. So, uh -huh. temporarily, I'm going to take down this, 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 and uh, we need to take down a bunch of this to make this whole thing fit. Okay, okay. sometimes bots are really slow at doing things, so I'll just do it myself. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to grab something to eat right now, but I'll be right back in oh, 10 minutes or something. All right, all right. I'll, I'll set up this uh, station in the I'll meantime. I'll out of the way here. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> yep, see you. So I'll go ahead and uh, get the backbone. And I think we now have the clearance for it. So now I'm placing it so that it's, it's uh, at the top there. It's touching or, or the power pole that I that is in the recipe goes on top of the power pole that still exists already exists there place it down and then we'll have that built and because we just ate up one of our roboports that cut our network in half so i'm gonna place replace the roboport here where it can fit uh which is right here so it's not going to be exactly like uniform like it was before that is fine. Um, I thought I had some big power poles in my inventory, but guess not. So we'll get that powered up as well. And I suppose so that we don't eat up all the stuff. Also, so that this continues. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these over. So there's a kind of a output here. It, it bypasses this whole station. So while we are uh, constructing this, it will continue to uh, produce and work. Whoops, that's going the wrong way. I'll bring them over like this. Uh, we'll also want to destroy all of these trees here. I'll just have my bots do that for me. Alright, so what we're going to need here then is uh, we need some unloaders. We'll need an unloader for iron plate, copper plate, stone, uh, technically oil. Mm. But let's start with iron plate first. So iron plate uh, stacks to a hundred. Right. Uh, this is. I think it's. Yeah, it's a hundred. Hundred apiece. Um, so we need unloaders that are stack stacked at one hundred. So I'll place down one for. 
iron plate, copper plate, uh, stone stacks at 50, like the other ores, I think. So we'll want an unload of 50 uh, for the stone. And um, uh, it, oh yeah, this also does eat up coal. So I guess because we do have the room for it, we'll add coal to the mix. Uh, so another one of those same Unloaders. Uh, unloader stack 50. And then... Fluid unloader. Ah, it doesn't quite fit yet. Well, once we get rid of this line, we'll, we'll do that as well. Uh, but basically, we're going to just bring a lot of this stuff in. Uh, the mall is using them right now, but I suppose we could have... Uh, we could have some sort of construction going down this way as well. Uh, but at least it can fill up the mall with all of this stuff, if nothing else. So let's go ahead and rename this into... Iron plate U, as in iron plate unloader. This is copper plate U. This is stone U. And this is uh, coal U. Now, because this is receiving coal, we might as well use this as a as a refueling station, so the coal can actually push all push its push itself back to to the mix here. Then I had an an upgrade planner. Yeah, this one can change this to the correct types, which we have because we don't have blue. Uh, blue stuff yet, so we can't do that. Now I want to build another roboport in here, so this whole thing is behind. Within roboport. Jurisdiction. So, we'll place one right there, and it'll actually nicely connect to a lot of the surrounding. And everything here should get built. Then we need to wait for that stuff to get built. Uh, we are missing some of these items. Uh, some are not being produced at all, like these carbonators are not being produced. So we should go ahead and get some of that handcrafted. Oh, this is not correct. There we go. Uh, so I need to go and pick up some copper plate. Also, I should get rid of this, these uh, ores that I'm carrying. I'll set them to zero, zero. Trash all of that. Ah, I want them. <laughs> I want them uh, in here, at the bottom row. Uh, so I'm going to place some trashing orders. I don't know if there's a quicker way to do this. This way at least we'll get rid of the unwanted stuff. Keep a clear inventory. There we go. Oh, <laughs> all the logistic bots are rushing in to pick up all of the ore. 
so we need to build... Uh, we also need... Uh, oh, we need green circuits for this. There we go. And then we can build a, part, a bunch of these. Uh, that requires some iron plates. So we need a few speakers as well. At least one. Oh yeah, and the stack inserters are not being produced either. So I need fast inserters, circuits, and uh, gears. I'm going to need more than I can create yet. Yeah, what am I down? I think we need a bunch more of these iron gear wheels. No. Oh, it's the inserters themselves. We need more fast inserters. No? Green circuits, then. There we go. That's at least some of them. So we can go in here and build this stuff ourselves. Because they need the logical network in order to be able to actually do anything here. Uh, we need five more decider combinators. At least. And then a bunch of these stack inserters. So fast underground belts are, are something that is... I could probably help that by uh, handcrafting some of those. By going to pick up some... Uh, some regular underground belt. And some more gear wheels. Wait. I think stuff is expensive. Oh, I guess we only... No. Oh, it, it does eat up a whole bunch of gear wheels. Woof. Okay, I guess I'm just picking up a bunch of iron plate then. You just gotta handcraft basically everything here. Oh yeah, but at least it produces several from one one of these recipes, so that's something. Yeah, but handcrafting 40 gear wheels is... it just takes forever. I have quite some extra construction bots. Let's see. Um, I think I can use 50? 40. I can use 40, so I'll, I'll keep a stack of 50, though. Uh, so put those in. Um, yeah, we're going to need a stack inserters. We're just going to need a whole bunch of iron gear wheels. to get this and everything else done. And now we need green circuits as well. Woof. Yeah, those base resources, sometimes they... you require more of them than you'd like to imagine. miners doing they're still mining now oh, that one we can uh, deconstruct that one please alrighty I mean the rest of those are gonna get 
brought in by the construction bots at some point. Basically, the priority now is the stack inserters. But I think, like most of these, that one doesn't have any built. Oh, that one not, doesn't have any either. Yeah, we can. We just need a whole bunch of stack inserters now. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thanks. You, uh... You can see that we have a station. If I can get Factoria to grab my cursor again, yep. <laughs> big station. Ah, there we go. Yes, station. Oh, great. Oh, wow. That's big. <laughs> It'll get even bigger. Uh, so this is just, again, the blueprint. Um, this thing, uh, so actually up here uh, at the top of the station, you can see these weird things that have green and red uh, yep. wires coming out of them. They're just carbonators. Uh -huh. uh, so they they are just like logis, lo logic systems that you can use to do weird logic stuff. Automation. Ah, yes, I see. Automation. So, um, again, this is another blueprint that I have not made myself. So, don't ask too many questions. It's 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 just smart. It just knows things. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. it, it knows things and it does things and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's great. So, what exactly does the logic do? Yeah, uh, logic. Um, <laughs> Something, <laughs> uh, but does it like does it sort uh, whatever you put in there, or what's the purpose of the logic? No, uh, let's put the, it like this. the purpose of the logic system in this uh, particular thing is um, it's like mm, it's kind of like it's reading, for example, the input and the throughput of the station. So, for example, um, at the at the bottom you have in, next to the alerts, or in the alerts you have the alert low supply which is the exclamation mark. Okay, yeah. That's coming from these stations, because they think they have low supply. Ah, I see. Uh, because they don't have anything. Uh, so that's one thing. And then it's also... Um, it is... Um, what does the logic system do? It's, it's, it's like reading into the train itself um like how much it expects to come out of that train um it's also for complex stuff that doesn't really matter like in in it, it doesn't really matter we we don't need to care about it is is all it is okay i get it 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 does it automatically um mm -hmm. uh but yeah anyways uh, i just placed these blueprints um but uh so so the Modular balancing uh, or the modular station uh, blueprint book has several different unloaders and loaders for different stack sizes. So mm -hmm. that's one of the things about it is that uh, these are the the first two are stack size one hundred, and the next ones are stack size fifty because they are going to be receiving different items. Okay. Um, but anyways, we can we can start building this, and you'll see it in action. So, actually, what we need right now, then, uh, most of this is built. We are missing some stack inserters, but we just need to craft those by hand. Um, but what we okay. need, what we need now is uh, some actual trains. Makes sense. Yep. So we're gonna need locomotives. Uh, mm -hmm. You can find those in your logistics net, uh, logistics crafting tab. They are not being crafted by uh, by the mall, so we need okay. we need engines which are up here where I pinged, and then we need. Uh, green circuits, steel, and then for the cargo wagons, we need iron plate, steel plate, and iron gear wheels. 
Okay. So let me go pick some of that stuff up. Wait, what did I just... I think I picked up the storage crate again. <laughs> uh, which one? Uh, for the for the for the engine. Oh on, no! Maybe I can fix it. Did you? Maybe did I you, can fix did it. you break I can, it? I can just I can just place it again, right? Did you, did 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 you break everything? It was a provider chest, right? Oh no! It, you broke everything. Yeah, yeah. Just put it down there. <laughs> Whether the insert is trying to place the. Uh -huh. Engine, it's fine. Ah, fix it. <laughs> it's fine. I work for Fix It Corporation. I can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not uh, like the only only uh, time that would be a problem is if the provider chest itself is connected to the uh, to a logic 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 network, uh, like if there's a wire coming out of it, because you can do some some of those things. Um, actually, like one one. One uh, logic point that we can look at that kind of shows you one thing that you can do with the system is up here at the road port. If we come over here. Uh, so let's see. Where, um, so if you click on the road port itself, uh, you can see that in mode of operations, it has read logistic network content and read robot statistics both checked in. And it says output signals X, Y, Z, and T for different amounts of different things. Then if you click at the blue inserters that are next to it here, you can see that they have circuit connection. Uh, or do you do you actually see it automatically when you click on the fast inserter? Did you drop out of call? Did I? Is it working now? Yeah, now it's working. Yeah, my push to talk isn't working correctly. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, can you can you see it automatically with the circuit connection uh, tab? Um, nope, I can't see it. Okay. Well, when you click on the fast inserter at the top, it's got circuit network, logistic network, and the X. So just click on ah. circuit network. Yes. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Then it'll show you some statistics and mode of operation is right now at en enable disable. So mm -hmm. the logic system dictates whether it's enabled or not. And it okay. has enabled connection. Condition is Z equals zero. Mm -hmm. So Z uh, means... Uh, in the rover port, Z means available construction bots. Okay. So in other words, this inserter is only enabled when the available construction bots is zero. Okay, so, I get it. So in other words, what it's doing is if there are, if there's so many jobs for the construction bots to do, that there aren't enough construction bots in the network. Then mm -hmm. it will start inserting more construction bars from this, from this transport belt into the road port. Okay. For as long as it needs, so it's just going to fill it with more and more robo robo um, trans uh, construction bars yeah. as as are needed to fill all the orders. Okay. And then again, once the available construction bars go above zero, then it stops putting them in. Mhm. Mm um, let's see, is this, uh, yeah, this, uh, everything is working here correctly. Um, but yeah, so, uh, now that we have the materials, uh, we can craft some locomotives and some cargo wagons. So the way that these train stations work is, um, or, or the way these are built up is for, uh, trains that have two locomotives and four cargo wagons so uh -huh. you, you can build you can build a train uh, with two locomotives and four cargo wagons and then um, I'm gonna place mine uh, right here on this first track uh, you can place all mm, yeah yeah we, we can just place them here uh, so you can place it when you take the locomotive ah, I you, forgot the green green circuit boards oh um 
I have enough. Yeah. You have enough? I mean, I can grab some. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. They are, um, like, at the... Uh, south of where you are. Ah, yeah. Found them. Yep. Okay. But yeah, then when you click on the locomotive in your inventory, uh, it snaps to, it snaps to uh, the rail. You can turn it around with R, but it should be pointing south by default. So it's got this sort of T at the front. That's the yeah. front of the train. It's kind of, it doesn't weirdly, it, it's not, it, it should have an arrow or something, I feel. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, that's that's the front, and uh, if it's facing the right way, and you bring it close to the station, which is at the south end of this rail, yeah, uh, it will actually snap to that station. Uh huh. But it won't snap to it if it's uh, the other way around. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I see. Uh huh. But yeah, it snaps to it, so then you can just place it down there, and then uh, place another locomotive directly behind it. You can see the green connection. Which shows that they are connected to each other. Okay, um, I have to build another one. I only made one. How did I do? I copy again. Q. Q. Yeah. Ah, yes, and now it works. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't have worked before. It's weird. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And then uh, we need four uh, cargo wagons. So same same deal. Uh, you you see the green connection. It snaps to the train, and you just build four of those behind it. Okay, I have to get some more items. Can I? Uh, is there some way like this the the build list or the to do list in um, Satisfactory? I don't think there is anything like that. No. Okay. Iron plate and iron gear. I mean, I could use the bots to. Bring me the stuff I need, right? Yeah. I don't know whether that would be. Yeah, you can. Uh, okay. Um, also, something that so so the logistics system uh, works both ways that bots can bring you stuff and they can also take stuff out of you out of your inventory. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I have set rules in my uh, personal logistics that um, I want wood, iron ore, copper ore. Coal, stone, uranium or fish, uh, these like basic uh, trash resources that I, I can't do anything in, in my hands with. Uh -huh. I've said it so that they are zero zero. So oh, anytime yeah. I pick up wood or iron ore or anything, a logistic, logistic bot is going to come over and pick that up from me and take it to a storage box somewhere. Okay. How do you pick up from a belt again? I forgot F. that one. F. F. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, right now I want some coal. So, bots better bring me some coal. Or else, we're gonna fire the bots. <laughs> like. Ten minutes ago, I told the bots to take all the go all the coal out of my inventory, and now I'm telling them to bring it back. <laughs> um, hey, build two cargo wagons. Wait, yeah, no, actually, oh, we don't oh, have. Need... We need four cargo wagons, right? Yeah. Uh, we actually don't have any sort of. Uh... I'm just gonna steal this. Uh... I need. Plates, I see. Yeah, actually, forget about that. Uh, zero coal, zero coal. Bots, come back, take all of it away again. <laughs> These bots are gonna be so mad. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're, as they're bots, they don't really have feelings, right? Yeah, they probably have feelings, but that's just... <laughs> they should have chosen another... Uh... 
What's the word? Career. Job. Yeah. It's yeah, not... career. If they don't, if they mind, they that's the wrong career for them. Yeah. That's how it is. Uh, nice. That is just barely within the network, so we can just have the bots come over and do that. Ah, did it. What did you do? I placed the four cargo, cargo wings. Oh, nice. Okay. So, um, then these trains are waiting for fuel. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a bit of coal, but... Uh, so, so I quickly built this uh, extra transport line here. I will have some bots bring some uh, stuff here. So, so what this is okay. doing is uh, it's bringing coal in here. And these, uh, this belt, this yellow belt here, is going through this whole thing. And it's got some inserters that are just putting the coal in the trains then. Ah, okay. So they'll get fueled up soon. So you don't... There, there's like no proper train station. It's all just inserters. Um... Or, or is there a station? Yeah, like the station is uh, this, this uh, what you're standing right next to. That's the station. Ah, okay. Train stop. Okay, okay, but it's like one for all all trains in one train, uh, for all lo locomotives in one train. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A train a train can have as many. Well, I think there's some sort of limit, but it can have like as many locomotives or cargo oh, wait, wagons. Oh, that's the same as in, as in satisfactory, right? Anything that you want. Um, yeah, that's yeah. the same. You yeah, only yeah. need one yeah. train station if you have them going into the same direction, yeah. Mm. But, huh. okay, so here's, here's something that's important. <laughs> in in Satisfactory, trains can just, like, go through each other. Oh, yeah, they have collisions here, I know that. Which, which is dumb, <laughs> which is dumb. Here you, here, here you actually have to think about, like, that's why we have parallel, tra parallel tracks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we and don't all have the just, signals. Yeah, we don't have just like one track going one way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, at least you have signals, right? Yeah. So you can tell them what to do. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be able to see this in action. Um, uh -huh. So, anyways, uh, you can okay. So click on the uh, train. Uh, click on click on your train on the left there. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna start uh, setting up rules for this. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you have the add station. Click yeah. on that. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll open up a menu, and uh, mm -hmm. you want to find uh, copper plate L. Okay. So that's copper plate loader. It's another mm -hmm. station that I built earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will place iron plate L. Mm -hmm. So that that tells uh, it to go and load up. Um, mm -hmm. And because so so that's also one of the things that the smart system in the uh, in the uh, station itself does already is that we don't need to add any weight conditions. I don't think. Wait a minute. Let me okay. double check that. I don't think we need to add any. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, what was the name of this? Uh, it's called module balanced. Oh, because it could at least theoretically um, like direct the train station and control the trains by that, probably? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 let me just check. I don't think it required any sort of... Um... Yeah, tra so, so they are kind of... The train station itself with the logic system is set up so that it's already kind of using some of these conditions. Um, okay. So we don't... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't need to give it any sort of conditions, but uh, you can. So, so normally you can uh, give it weight conditions and uh, they are kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, they would be really useful for satisfactory too. Yeah, and uh, and just playing around with those, you can you can kind of figure out good good weight conditions. But we're not going to give them any of those right now. 
Okay. So then just add another station. And this time you want to do, um, because you did copper plate L, you want to do copper plate U. So copper plate okay. unloader. Mm -hmm. And I'll do iron plate U. And that is basically it. Uh, now there's a real question. Fine. Why are these? Oh, because this is too long. Okay. Because this uh, is normally red. Uh, red uh, underground belts go further than yellow underground belts. So I just need to fix this real quick. There we go. Uh, we are now receiving fuel. So now uh, the trains are put into manual mode. Um, yeah. One short question about the yeah. belt. So I just realized like you only built the entrances and the belts you don't really build the belts that go underground you just build the entrance and the exit and then the belt connects because they're facing each other yes yes ah, i see yeah um okay nope it's still not receiving this really should be a red i think it's able to receive it though if we just do this no oh it just has to be a red okay give me a second here i need to Okay, you see it while building how far you can go, I get it. Yeah, the the I think the red red and the blue, which is the highest tier, I think both of those go the same distance, but the yellow one is a bit shorter. I don't exactly know why that is, but anyways, oh, now okay. all the trains yeah, all the trains are getting filled with fuel. Yep. Um now what we can do is uh you can hit enter. Click enter or, or press enter, the key enter. Like uh, when I'm not in the train menu. Yeah. I oh. think nothing happened. You probably need to be closer to the train. And you jump into oh. the train. Yeah. Ah, I uh, see. And don't move. Don't don't click WASD or anything right now. Uh-huh. Um, so now you can click on the train. And uh, you can click automatic. And we okay. should be off. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. so no 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 no. I I'm, uh, I'm trying to activate the other train <laughs> while we are feeding away. Okay. So now we're riding trains. Yay! Nice. Uh, so this is a setup I put up earlier here. So this is basically just the same. Wait. <laughs> um, Why <laughs> didn't we stop? Oh. Uh, oh, I think because I think we are okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's doing it uh, sort of... Sometimes when you click automatic, uh, it kind of goes to the second station first. So I think it was just kind of trying to go to the copper plate U station first. So it just kind of took us from the station where we ah. were back to the station <laughs> where we were. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully yeah. we should stop now. No? Did I make no? a mistake? Huh. Okay. Click enter. Copper plate L and copper plate U on automatic. It looks fine. Yeah. Press, uh, okay, press enter. Oh. Uh, 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 now I'm outside of the train. Yes, good. Oh my god, uh, try not to get run over by one. Yes, oh, oh yeah, also I forgot to say that. Do not. Yeah, I know that. Do not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a Steam achievement, so, um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think everyone who has Factorium playlist has that one in his achievement list. <laughs> hmm. How can I control the train now that I've exited and cannot click on it? Uh, well, uh, you can click, for example, on the on the uh, train station, the cup plate ah. use station, and then you can click on okay. the train. And then you can... Uh, adjust it but let's see why is it why are they not stopping um wait a minute so you're sure you don't need any circuit condition or something Hmm. Wait, maybe you did. Maybe you did. Wait a minute. It's been a while since I've used 
use this. Oh. That is there. Yes, this is outputting a signal T. Are these outputting? Yeah, these are outputting a signal T as well. There's a mode of operation enable disable in the train station menu, which is not ticked. Could it be that this has to be ticked? Um, no. No, because that's just disabling the train station itself. Um, but it is, is it disabling or is it enabling it? Uh, no, I mean it's. <laughs> it should not. It should not be enabling or disabling itself. Uh, oh, okay, I see. But let me see because this. Ah, this like trying to read some of these. So, so there's a there's a website called Factory of Prints, which um, has a lot of blueprints made by the the community. But sometimes mm -hmm. the like documentation of the stuff is <laughs> is really bad. <laughs> Yeah, someone built it, uploaded it, and never bothered to document it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it says read before using the blueprints, but it doesn't actually give you, give you the information here. Trains must oh, arrive no. with a with all wagons full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Map is full of supply. Letting you know, white lights for information. Okay, okay, maybe... Okay, I think we do need to actually make them... Oh, all right. I, I think we do. Okay, so click on your station there, the copper plate U station, yep. and mm -hmm. click on the train. Yep, I'm there. Uh, so for the loader station, for the L station, mm -hmm. uh, for that, give it a full cargo inventory. Yep. And then for the other one, give it empty cargo inventory, the unloader. Okay. I got it set. And then you can jump on your train and check that it's working. I jumped on the iron train here. Uh huh. Uh, actually, your train, I think, I, stopped. My train stopped at the. Yeah, it actually yeah, stopped. It okay, so it, it is working as it should be. Nice. So you can see it loading there. Kind of slow yeah. because uh, it's actually the belts aren't the way they they need to be okay this is built for blue belts which is uh, a lot faster but it's fine in that it's just um actually it's not it's not a matter of the belts it's just a matter of the stack inserters uh yeah. so it just takes a few for it to actually fill up because these these uh trains take quite a lot of stuff in them uh-huh uh, the cargo wagon, I think it holds uh, three... Wait, no, 4K? 40, it's 40 storage slots, and when it's 100 per, per stack, then it's 4K, right? Yeah, it's 4K. Ah. So, um, so the iron train is already halfway full here. Yeah, mine is already two-thirds full. No, three quarters. Yeah. <laughs> Almost the same. Almost the same. Don't tell my math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's wait a few here. And we should see both trains coming back to the unloading station. Uh-huh. Wait, where's your station actually at? Kind of uh, this one is right now uh, to the east of, of the station oh, where you that. are. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. There's actually another iron uh, plate loader, which is the same as the one where the copper plates were. Okay. Uh, so the way that this logic works, because we tell the... we um, There's actually two iron plate L, uh, two stations that are called iron plate L. Mm -hmm. So any trains of the network that are going to one of those is going to try to go to either one. And like if one of them is oh. full... Then it'll go to to the other one. Okay. So that's the logic behind using the same name for mm -hmm. for for like several stations. Okay. Cool. But yeah. So now it's unloading, and now we have plates coming in through here, to the bottom. Yep. 
And uh, again, let's be careful around these uh, <laughs> rails because this stage, uh, these uh, trains are, uh, once they are empty, they're just going to like zoom out of here. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of um, stack inserters missing here, so they are kind of slow. In unloading. Oh, actually, this one is missing. The iron station is missing some uh, completely, so it's not going to be able to. The iron train is not going to move anywhere. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go real quick and go and grab some resources to build some stack inserters, which is another thing that this mall is not constructing. So I'll just handcraft this stuff. When I'm like standing beside a cargo wagon, as mm -hmm. far as I can run into it, will it run me over once it moves, or is that the the spacing I can stand at without getting run over? Uh, let's say don't be near it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I think you can survive at that spot, but um, <laughs> but yeah. You. Oh. You, I'll try my luck. One yeah, try my luck. You, can, you can probably also die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, um, about death. So, uh, when you die, you lose all of your inventory. So it's, like, gone permanently? Yeah, it's just gone. Oh, wow. And, and there was, like, that includes all the equipment as well, so... You lose Ouch. your power armor and all of that. Oh. So it's 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 not recommended to die. <laughs> yeah, I I'll try not to. Okay, I'll just handcraft some of these. These are pretty quick to handcraft when you have all the ingredients. So um, if you like, if you have a um, actually, if you p pick up like a bunch of these iron plates and copper plates from here, from the uh -huh. transport belts. You can see that you can create a lot of recipes that require, like, um, you can probably click on, like, blue fast inserter, and you can probably create some of those. And if you click on that, you notice that it'll start creating the stuff that is kind of required for those. So, like, it'll start creating uh, green circuits in your inventory, unless you have them already. Yeah, I already have them. Which one did you want me to create? The blue ones? Uh, well, what, it, it doesn't matter. What, whatever you uh, want. But I, I just wanted to point that out that it kind of creates okay, all, the, I see. all the required stuff. I uh, don't so, have to build the prerequisites beforehand. I can just yeah. make it from top down. Yeah. Uh, but oh, it's, okay. it's it's a lot faster if you already have... Like, like if you need to... Mm, like, if you need to create inserters, yellow inserters, mm -hmm. which require iron plate, iron gear wheel, and electronic circuits. Mm -hmm. You can do that by just having iron plates and copper plates in your inventory. But it's going to mm -hmm. take a while, so it's better to have iron plates, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits in your inventory. Okay, I see. Because then it just takes the time that it takes to create one, one of those inserters. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, but now we have the train stations apparently kind of working. Yes, everything is working here, so we can hook this up. Uh, so... We want to take... I uh, guess we can use red belts. So, we want to take these four uh, iron plate belts from here. Um, hmm. Okay, so um, if you go into the map mode, uh, you don't need to run around. Um, oh, yeah. So, if you look at the place where the belts are, the the mm -hmm. uh, balancer um, that creates the 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 iron well I'll just ping it <laughs> this thing yeah, yeah. Uh, that place uh, is where the plates need to go okay 
Um, so you could start working on this so that um, so from this train station, the iron plates need to get to that point. Mm -hmm. um, you can use red belts, like you can just create ghosts and the the bots will come and, and build it for us. Okay. Um, so try to build it so that uh, the four four um, belts stay together. Mm -hmm. Of course, so that is always the four belts. Um, you can have it kind of cross um, in front of these other stations. That's fine, because we can always use yeah. underground belts for them to go through. As long as you yeah. keep one uh, one free spot. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to work on that, bringing the iron plate uh, belts over. Mm -hmm. So, building up the the foundation for that. Uh, in in the meantime, I'm going to go and start deconstructing this smelter smelting system because we are not going to be needing that anymore, of course. Yeah. Because right. we are not uh, using iron ore. Uh huh. We're gonna be using uh, plates themselves. Oh, yes. is it possible that I can't copy anything that I don't have at least one of in my inventory? That inventory? should not be a thing, no. Because I can't copy those red belts again, and I don't have any of them in my inventory. Hmm. But I guess I can. That's super weird because you should be able to copy, like anything with Q. You can also try to use uh, Control C, click and yep, Control D. I, I made one. I made one, and now I can copy it with Q. <laughs> hmm, that might be a multiplayer thing then. Okay. Like How that do I you place the have to. Shift. Yeah, Shift. Okay. Uh, oh, just. Also, make sure uh. that. Uh, make sure that we have the network around there. There's a bit of green uh, or a bit of space there between them that doesn't have green, so. If needed, okay. you can uh, build some rope ports there as well. Okay. So I'm just going to work on getting rid of some of this. Sometimes the worst thing actually is when you're trying to like deconstruct something, and if you're trying to use bots for it, and you're within your, your bot network, so it's not just your personal bots, then uh -huh. like a construction bot from the other side of the map decides to come and take the job, <laughs> and you're just sitting there waiting for five minutes for a bot to come over and do the job that you could just do by right-clicking on it. Yeah, I, I can imagine. So I'm letting all of this iron ore kind of get through this system. Uh, it's being used pretty slow because we are... Well, actually, we can, we can speed that up with some, some research. Let's uh, increase insert a capacity bonus. So that'll start using up some of our resources, plus all of these building jobs. I am also going to check the map. We should be fine. There should be no enemies attacking us because of pollution. Uh, but those uh, aliens have a secret weapon in that they um, they expand their bases. So okay. they, crea they yeah. create more bases. Uh huh. And uh, the the non highlighted area on the map, the area that you can't see, like when you're zoomed in. Uh, but is it black? Is it, it has fog of war, so you don't know if they have created a new base in that area. Okay, I see. The only place where you would be able to just know that is in the highlighted area for the radar. Uh huh. Um, you can also uh, notice on the map uh, that some some like small chunks are highlighted every now and then. That's because the radars are doing both the close range scan, which is the the area that you can see normally, but also a long uh -huh. range scan where they kind of blip around them in a very large area. Okay. And slowly scan that. So that's something that might pick up 
an expansion. Uh huh. But it's very slow, so um, a lot of the time they do do surprise you through that. Okay. Uh, what else re should we do in Are research? you planning on expanding the um, train station towards the west? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, we have to so mention that. The, best, the belts as west as possible. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's going to be um, at least one, if not two more, of these these train stations. Okay, yeah, I'll just run it towards the lake and as far as possible then. Yeah, just bring it next to the coal, coal uh, line. Yeah. Because that's actually be going to be destroyed at some point anyway. Okay. So that is fine. Is it worth the effort to move the coal line those two spots possible, or is that wasted effort? Uh, because it could... no, 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 no! Don't don't worry about that. It's it's enough okay. space there. All right. <laughs> I'm still struggling with the key combinations because <laughs> basically everything is just the opposite of what you're used to from Satisfactory. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> that is how it is. We're gonna have a lot of co what this what the there's like weird weird random items lying around. <laughs> huh. One piece of iron ore that was just lying on the ground <laughs> next to the belt. I don't know how oh, that's so you even can possible. Drop stuff on the stuff on the ground? Uh I mean no. You can't. <laughs> that's the weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is what makes it weird. Okay, let's not have these work. Cut those. Oh, that needs to work still. Oh yeah, so actually, um, this bottommost part is gonna stay here, the bottommost smelters. Okay. Um, is that gonna be a problem for the station let's see i mean i w will have to fiddle the belts around somehow then mm. now nah, you can you can just bring the um oh no i'm, I'm building all of it uh, you can you can just bring this uh, actually. You can make it so that it goes right next to this radar here. Okay. Right there, because we actually now that uh, we yeah why am I not doing it right now? Uh, let me just put the fluid unloader here. Um, this one. There we go. That's the that's the train station. Okay. We don't, we don't need anything else for it. Sorry, I didn't come to think of okay. that. Wait, how do you mass dismantle again? Uh... Um. So you have the red deconstruction planner. Ah, that one. You can okay. use that. Yeah. Okay. Want to try it? There. Okay, yeah, so this needs to still go there for now. But. Doesn't need to go further from there. So this goes away. This becomes just a normal belt. Take all of this apart. This is one of those situations where I need to kind of think about like, okay, what things... Oh no! <laughs> I, I dismantled too much. Oh no. 
<laughs> I did not... <laughs> right when I was talking about it, I did not do what I, I was supposed to do. <laughs> so I need to look at, like, where all of these things are going and... How long is it? <laughs> I love seeing all these bots just jump around building all this stuff for you. <gasps> this probably doesn't need to be underground belt, but whatever. Okay, so coal does need to go all the way up there. Ah. Uh, Technically, we could redirect this steel production. Uh, it's easier to keep it right there right for now. That's also why I'm not using uh, the deconstruction planner right now. Uh, because it's easy to kind of overshoot with it. Destroy a bit more than you should. Yeah. So I'm just kind of hand deconstructing everything. Ah, I'm at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Those are always interesting. <laughs> um, wait a minute, you. I'll I'll deconstruct this part first so that you can get that done. Uh huh. Oops, that was too much again. Again, too much. There we go. Right, you should be free to bring them in. Let me know if there's something still in your way. I just have a, I have to figure out this robo part. I'm trying to... There's there's no grid over here, right? I can just place it where it's useful. Uh... Oh yeah, it, it doesn't always like... I like to have it kind of try to be like a grid, but yeah, no. It, you can't always have it like that. As long as it connects okay. to another part. Okay. Um... How do I build power? Wait, do those need power? Yeah, those yeah, need power. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you can queue a big electric pole, like next to the radar, for example, here. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, there, there, there. Okay. Yeah, the, so, so the different electric poles... <laughs> I can't because I don't have it in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can probably deconstruct... If you deconstruct it first... Uh, hold on, but the, the, the robot part did its thing, right? The... R robots yeah, got but they, there without being yeah, powered. but they are not getting power. That's the thing. Oh, okay. They can't so get out work of there. For this. Okay, uh, but they okay, okay. Yeah, they can go inside there, but they can't come out anymore. Uh, yeah, but, like it only worked as a relay station, though. So they flew over there, but they won't be able to yeah. dock or come out. I see it. Uh, okay. But I think one work away for you is to you can deconstruct this big electric pole. Yeah, yeah. right. And then you can place it down where it is again. And then you should be able to yeah. queue, queue, uh, pick it up. Probably. Uh, once I've built, let's see. Nope. Once it's out of my inventory, I can't can't copy it. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I that mean, is... I can r let, let the robots build it. I s I guess so. That then... is strange. I can do it like this. This. Have them place it here. Um, but, um, so... Like this? You should also be able to do Control c and Control v if nothing else. Like, target yeah, it and Control c Control v Yeah, that, That's working, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the difference, uh, the difference between the three different, uh, four different power poles 
is that the small electric electric pole uh, the small electric pole is trash. If you see any any okay. of those, replace them with medium electric poles and destroy the small electric poles. Okay. <laughs> these are absolute trash. Uh huh. Um, these are the ones that you want to use most of the time when constructing stuff. Uh-huh. Uh the big ones. Um these ones are useful for moving electricity over long distance. Okay. Because uh the medium electric pole uh it only is able to like if I build a medium electric pole right here, it does not connect it connect to the big one. Okay, see, it has a big area of which in which it powers machines, but it has no big range for the wire. Yeah. When you hover over the poles, it shows you kind of stats. So ah, yes. the big pole has a wire reach of 30, a supply area of 4x4. Four, four four. Yeah. Uh, while a small, uh, medium one has 9 and 7x7. Seven seven. Okay. So the big electric pole is really bad for, for powering anything around it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then you have the fourth type, which is uh, a substation. It's uh, something that's kind of between them in terms of the wire reaches further, uh, mm -hmm. but it's got a huge supply uh, area of 18 by 18. Mm -hmm. But it also uh, is 4 by 4 tiles, so uh, it's, it's larger than the uh, medium electric pole. I guess you're using those in the solar setup then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's a bit of a more more like specialized pole uh, mm -hmm. for partic for particular times when you need to kind of power a large area. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, what's wrong with this transport belt you built? Um, <laughs> wait, there there seems to be a bit of a problem. Uh, I have to get there. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I fixed <laughs> those on the other two lanes already. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you actually don't need to deconstruct them. I can turn them around? Oh, I can just build over them? Yeah, you can just build over oh, them so the other cool. way around. Yeah. Oh my god. Good, good thing I did that wrong, because I would have never learned that. <laughs> yeah. Also, you can run on the belts to go fast. Yep. Yeah. Um, but Is yeah. there an easy okay, way to move so... the power pole, if I want to? Or can I, do I have to tear it down and put it up again? Uh, you have to tear it down and put it up again. Okay. But it actually probably should be moved uh, further in any way. So where do these belts need to come to? Those. Four. There we go. Move the power, and uh, yeah, so yeah. Them. Let's let's see. Um, they should enter at. Uh, this should be turned around. This in this uh, like that. So they need to go into these. These four, okay. Right here. So um, you'll probably, well, I can t can move this underground belt thingy here, so that it goes around. There we go. I'm just using up all of my bots. Oh no! <laughs> Don't steal my bots. Ah! Um, they build a. They build belts underneath me and carried me away. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So this is now then. Yeah, now that we connect it, it's gonna be perfect. Okay. We'll be getting some. Uh, so we just need to start deconstructing the rest here. I suppose we don't need any of this. I'm gonna regret this at some point, but I hope that we don't need any of this. Alright, so now we have plate coming in directly from the mines. Great. Cool. We made a nice nice upgrade to this. Uh-huh. So uh so yeah, uh if you wanna help with deconstructing this, um basically uh, well, all the stone furnaces can be taken down, except okay. the, not not the steel stuff. But all the stone furnaces can be taken down. All the belts, uh, the 
Okay, so the only thing that needs to remain is this one uh, belt of underground coal that's going through here. Uh -huh. That I'm okay. running through. This needs to stay. Okay. Otherwise, uh, all the empty belts and stuff can be deconstructed. Okay. If I deconstruct them right now, they'll uh, go into my inventory, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, do you want that to happen or do you want the bots to take them? Uh, I mean, they can be in your inventory. That's fine. Okay. So we can just kind of hand pick this so we don't accidentally break anything. Yeah. It's never bad for you to have some extra stuff in your inventory. Yeah, I guess it's just the basic like setup stuff that I have on my hand then. Yeah. Come in handy. Yeah, because I mean still sometimes the bots are just slow so you want to do do things yourself anyway <laughs> yeah yeah i did those with the corners already because the corners of the belt that i missed at first yeah. uh, the bots had already built the rest so i wanted the belt um, the plates to flow i just put them by hand yeah eventually when they get some upgrades they will be pretty fast doing stuff but ah. early on here not so much. So, I mean, we can also see, uh, like, if we break something by accident, we can see that there's, like, if there's yellow uh, alerts coming up for the inserters, for example, that they aren't gaining power, that's something that shouldn't happen, and mm -hmm. so on and so on. So, I think. I think that's all. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Nice. So we converted part of the mall uh, while also creating a bit of space that we uh, don't really have any plan for using, but... <laughs> hmm. Anyways. Guess it's always useful to have some. Yeah. By the way, this is a, this is a great system. <laughs> right here. <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> <laughs> it's just handling... That just... Um, passing the the wood around. <laughs> yeah, but do you do you <laughs> realize what the function of it is? I have no idea. Uh, the inserters. They are uh, burner inserters. Uh huh. Oh, they use up the the wood. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so you have to get rid of it. You, you don't need it. Yeah, uh, the storage chests are. If you look at them, they have the logistic filter of wood. So technically, uh -huh. all the logistics logistics bots should be bringing wood in here. Uh, yeah. The way our logistics system is right now, though, I don't think they always. Um, yeah, there's some in in some other chests as well. But um, later on, we will be able to make them request a chest so that they actually like bring all the wood in our logistics network in here and okay. um, it'll slowly to get burnt away by the system doesn't that cause pollution uh yeah but <laughs> like <laughs> very small amounts okay uh like a few few burner inserters like this creates a very tiny amount of pollution okay <laughs> uh pollution i think um is like uh, I, I think it's actually related to the amount of power that a machine uses. Mm -hmm. So these only use like uh, 100 kilowatts uh, to do anything. Okay. Which is, uh, which is to be fair, it's about the same as an assembling machine, but, but um, like a miner, miners use quite a lot. Uh, miners use uh, 100 kilowatts uh and and when you have like 50 miners in one place that's going to be quite a lot of power uh -huh. but there's just a few inserters so it's it's okay. not it's not much uh but this is a way to automatically do it uh another yeah. way another way to do it is to um like if you want to get rid of something is to have a chest uh like this one mm -hmm. and uh if i want to get rid of say I want to get rid of this 
copper cable in my inventory. I can build that and then I can shoot it <laughs> and destroy it. And, okay. and uh, apparently I had a bot in my inventory that wanted to repair that while I was shooting it, but, <laughs> but that works. Okay. okay. Oh, there's no other fun functionality to trash things? No, no, no. I uh, see. In the, this game is quite, quite keen on kind of keeping everything like everything stays and exists. Like there, there's no destruction of things. The only way to like get rid of things is destroying them, or then you turn them into something that's consumed, uh, okay. like am ammunition or something like that. Uh huh. But otherwise, so like. This this iron plates these iron plates here are gonna be turned into things that stay as things and you know. Uh huh. So fix it would be envious if they knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um we should probably destroy this line here as well. Okay. By the way, <laughs> why are your bots not doing anything? Do you um, have your rover port off? Oh yeah, it's off. <laughs> there we go. Thought now so. they're doing something. <laughs> yeah, I turned uh, it off while my battery was charging and I never turned it on. Yeah, okay. Um, so you should also, um, while you're picking up this this iron ore here, you should also uh -huh. probably make the rule for the logistic bus to come over and yeah. take all of your iron ore from in your inventory. I'll do that. Because you can't use that for anything. Mm -hmm. But I'm just gonna tell them, tell the bots to go and deconstruct all of this stuff, and then we should probably turn the miners around. Uh, actually, we should probably copy this thing here. I'm just gonna do a quick pro gamer move here at the iron. Iron mines to the east. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is just I'm I'm doing a copy paste on this uh, smelter setup that is there, copying it and then pasting it above it. Although that rover port is in the way. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go run over there and do some manual stuff. Okay. Uh, so we need to move this rover port here. Uh, we probably need another one, because mm. this is the only thing right now. Yeah. If you, it's the only it's, thing it's connecting. On the grid. Yeah. Yeah. So we need a rover port like right here. I uh, mean, we could build one over, up over there, so we would still get the coverage, right? Like the di shift the diagonal towards the north. Yeah. And build one in. Yeah. Okay. I'll set. I'll I'll place one right here by the uh, iron mines. Okay. So it'll connect to connect to that, and yeah, probably up here in the north as well. We can place many of them as we want. Yeah. And the bots will take care of that. And the bots will create more bots. Uh huh. Uh, so that'll create us some. Um, Roboport coverage. Uh, so we can remove this one. All of them run away. They're like, oh no. <laughs> Our home got destroyed. <laughs> then I want to move this. Oh, like so. And this purple, like so. So yeah, in addition to blueprints, you can just like do Control C and then drag over a whole whole thing, whole part of the factory that you want, and then just kind of use that as a ghost to to create something new. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna fix it so it doesn't accidentally connect to the other one though. There we go. So now we can turn these. Although this is not going to be enough to feed this whole thing. Oh well, whatever. Good enough. 
Uh, we're going to connect this like so and so. And then I mean, technically, I could set these. up more more miners on the south and have them go over to the west and connect the belts to the inputs of the other one so they have roughly the same quantity. Yep. Uh, but, yeah. uh, well, I mean, we might as well build all the all the miners that we can. Uh -huh. You can just copy you paste, to copy paste from up? like the above for, from the last row at the bottom. Yeah, you can just do a yeah. copy paste of that and place. Uh, so the miners are not going to be placed on anywhere where there isn't minerals to mine. Okay. So you can just kind of copy paste it and don't worry about it. Don't worry about it too much. Uh huh. Because we want to mine all of this out anyway. The electric furnaces, I think, is something that we are not producing either. Yeah, we're gonna need twenty-six of them. Ah, should have covered the power poles, I guess. Do you happen to have a lot of steel in your inventory? Um, steel, fifteen steel plate, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, so, so that's... Why is it called plate, but it's a bar? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have 15. Okay, yeah, yeah. You hold on to those. What? Am I out of cliff explosives? Oh, no. Uh, so, cliffs are the bane of everything. <laughs> uh -huh. But you can also destroy those. Just use a deconstruction planner uh, on cliffs, and as long as they are within the construction bot network, the construction bots will come in. We have some cliff explosives in storage, <laughs> so they'll okay. go, go and pick that up and they will blow it up. Oh, nice. At some point. Um, okay, I guess I need to go and pick up some steel. This is all turned around now correctly. Yep. So on the map, uh, you can also see how much how much iron ore is in this spot. So you can see that it's seven point one million uh -huh. iron ore. Which is a nice amount. We have 7.1k copper ore left in the in the original starting area there. That's not going to last for long. Um, wait a minute. Was that the plan all along? What do we have in here? We have oh no. Huh? I have done a stupid. Oh no. We need to uh we need to do a whole thing here. Oh more stations. Yeah, it's it, it needs one more station here at this Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh this is actually a um this is a, this is a, it's it's an easy one. Uh we just need to shift this whole thing up a little bit. Uh, shift the smelters up or down somewhere. Wait a minute. Is this where we need to? Yeah, I guess it is. Because uh, cause to the east of here, there's stone. And we need to mine that as well. Mm. Okay, uh, here's a plan. I'm gonna remove this one piece here, so we're gonna let this run dry, this uh, smelter. Uh -huh. And once it's emptied out, then we can uh, go and work on it. Work on it after that. Uh, deconstructing it. Uh -huh. um, I have no idea whether that makes made sense what I did, but uh, it felt felt good. <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, it's actually very good. Yeah, that works okay, really thanks. well. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go back to the main base here. Uh -huh. uh, 
So let's do the same thing we did with the uh, iron plates for the copper plates. Okay. So we need to bring them over as well. Um, I'm... let's see. Do we... I don't think we need four. Yeah, we only need two. So okay. let's just bring two, like the, the ones on the west side here. The western, mm -hmm. two, two westernmost um, ones. So, uh, in this situation, we're kind of building something similar to a big, um, a big main bus, is what yeah. it's called. Um, uh -huh. So here, uh, the rule is um, that you should you should always have. Uh, oh, I'm using your. Your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't build any more of them because you're using it. <laughs> I can copy play, paste it. That's. <laughs> um, but yeah. So so the thing is, now uh, when you're placing belts like this next to yeah. each other, uh, always have two empty spots between them. Yeah, that makes sense. I get why. Yeah, yeah because then if you How need you to run the corners so fast, if you need to run <laughs> underground uh, belts. They need to yeah. have at least two space. Uh, did I do it fast? Yeah, the, like how do you how do you, do you just rotate them as fast, or is there a quicker way to do a belt corner? Um, so what I do is I build it like this first. Uh huh. Then I press R to rotate it. I just click it on. Oh, because then it. Oh, okay. I see. Ah, I did it way too complicated. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how, but <laughs> yeah, I placed the belt in the, the two directions, and then I I thought the corner only appears when you have two uh, the belts in two directions. I didn't realize that it also no, no, snaps no. Yeah, yeah, in the it, direction you're building. Yeah, yeah it, uh, it it works like that as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. But do you do you want to start uh, bringing that over? I'll go yeah, look sure. at the yeah. I'll go look at this. Um. So I think you can bring it. Um. Uh, you can make it so that it goes alongside this uh, coal belt that we have here. I'll place a few belts here so you see where it needs to go. Oh, it builds it out of my own inventory and then I can't build it anymore because I don't have it in my inventory now. That, that That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I will build it with my robopod then. <laughs> I've no, yeah, I have no oh, idea why that's <laughs> happening. Like, have you had have you handcrafted any transporter belts yet? Yeah, I had to to be able to copy it. Yeah, but then you can't copy it anymore. Yeah, because I turned off my robot hmm. belt, uh, port now, so it it works like that. It's, huh. it's a workaround. Could that be a setting somewhere? Probably, I could very well imagine it being so. Like, I have never clicked anything like that though, so it should not. <laughs> be a thing <laughs> mm. maybe okay uh, in settings and interface uh -huh. Uh -huh. at the bottom there do you see pick ghost item if no items are available Oh yeah, that totally sounds like it. And so like, yeah, I don't have that enabled. Okay, okay, yeah. So you can Why click that. Why would that be disabled by default? I don't know. Okay. So maybe um, now it works then. Okay, now, wait, I can turn on my RoboPod and try it because I have two left and I have to, to build. Mm. Yeah, it's working now, that was it. Okay, nice. Yeah. Just remove this. No. Oh, yeah. Remove it too much. Oh, so they were coming in down nowhere. Do 
Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They are coming in just right from here. From down there, I, I guess. Yeah, I just can, for just I, like, like I can bring them in where the copper ore was coming in, right? Yeah, yeah. Just build it right here. Perfect. Right okay. here where it was. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh, the other rule about <clears throat> about this sort of in, in addition to leaving at least two spaces between, is that mm -hmm. uh, you should you should um, at maximum, well, technically when you're using yellow belts, at maximum you should have four belts next to each other because that's the maximum uh, distance of the underground belt. Uh huh. But when using red belts, you can have six belts next to each other. Okay. But usually it's it's uh, a good idea to hold to to keep to the keep to the uh, like four belts per four belts next to each other. Okay. As a rule. Because you might want to just use yellow belts instead of red. Yeah. yeah. I guess it's it's less a problem when there's like a small section where five are besides each other than when it's a whole area because you can yeah. use a, a red belt for that or build yeah. around it yeah yeah. i guess i guess in in uh factory you're less building around stuff than just making it work right that's more satisfactory thing <laughs> mm, yeah i guess so yeah can I come in here? yes oh oh nice So I actually don't know if, uh, well, I mean, pollution isn't really, at the end of the day, that's not something we really worry about. We are here to destroy this planet as well. Um, <laughs> but I, I was just thinking, I'm, I'm not sure if um, the stone furnaces create more pollution overall than the electric furnace. I guess it depends on okay. how you produce your electricity. Uh-huh. Like, that is actually uh, the reason why we are producing so little pollution. Uh, we are pr producing little pollution. <laughs> uh, it, mm -hmm. It's the reason that um, we are using solar panel, so solar power. Because yeah. no normally at this stage in the game, uh, if you don't use solar, you will be using uh, steam engines. Uh -huh. you can, and you can actually see them uh, to the west of, of the mall. The steam engines still exist back there. They just aren't hooked to the power grid. They are next to the water. Ah, yeah. I see. Now um, I want to build there. Yeah. Uh, they, I, I just left them in there as a kind of a backup. Uh-huh. But, um, so those create a lot of pollution. Okay. Because, well, they are burning coal. Yeah, yeah. To create huge amounts of power, so yeah, very very dirty power makes all the aliens angry. <laughs> Wait, did I build those the wrong way around? I totally did. Did I make a mistake? No, I didn't. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, here we can break this. There we go. There we go. Nice. Got rid of more stuff. <laughs> I've got so much like random stuff in my inventory right now then. I'm just gonna put a lot of it in here into the storage boxes. <coughs> so um, the way the different boxes work is, um, well, we don't have all of them available yet, but we have the yellow and the red uh, boxes. So um, wait a minute. The yellow and the red boxes don't technically have, I don't think, much of a difference, except that uh, yellow boxes are ones where 
the logistic bots can take stuff or, or move stuff into. Okay. The logistic bots are not going to move things into the red boxes. Okay. Uh, the red ones are called passive provider chests, so that gives mm -hmm. you a kind of an idea that they are something that provides items into the network. Mm -hmm. And then the yellow ones are storage chests, so things that kind of take items and place them in storage. Um, mm -hmm. Then in addition to these, oh, you, uh, you use some yellow underground belts here. Yeah, uh, because I couldn't figure out how to build the red ones. I don't have them in my inventory. I can't build them, and I can't. How do I tell a ghost? Like, how do I make the ghost building of something that I can't build? I don't think you can. But you could go and huh. pick up some uh, red underground belts from here, where they are being produced. Oh, oh, great. Yeah. So uh, because these are yellow now, so that slows down the whole system yeah. uh, down the line. I'll fix that right now. By fix that, I mean struggle with all the key combinations until <laughs> I finally find out what to do. Huh? Oh. Yeah, oh, I can't. <laughs> you already did one. <laughs> I'm trying to ghost build it, but it uh, now it's working, okay. Yeah, you can't uh, build a ghost over another one. Yeah, ah, got it. <laughs> but uh, I, I can actually show you another thing that you can do in that situation. Okay. So if you have a yellow thing like this. So uh -huh. um, next to uh, or below the deconstruction planner, you have the green mm -hmm. upgrade planner. Okay. Uh, so click on that. It, it creates uh -huh. a thingy in your hand. Yeah, put can that, select something. Yeah, put that in your inventory. Okay. So you I can put it in a hot bar. Yeah, I can. You can put that as well. So now you have an empty green upgrade planner. Yeah. So right click that. Uh huh. And then. Oh you, wow! In this, uh, you can set from, and there you can select underground belt, the yellow one. That's so cool. And two, you can click red underground belt. <laughs> uh huh. And then, oh, that's uh, awesome. then you click the upgrade planner. You paint uh -huh. these two. Uh, you can just like hover, uh, paint, paint over them with the upgrade planner, the two yellow ones, and there we go. Nice. Now the bots will come and upgrade it. Cool. And I guess I can also shift do that for. Wait. Ghost? Well. No, I can't shift ghost upgrade. I can't ghost upgrade. Uh, yeah, no, no, because this is already <clears throat> this is already something that uh, the bots are doing. This is basically like already a ghost thing that you are doing. It's a ghost, isn't? Oh. By default. So the ghost building oh, that you do is is just something that you order the bots to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of doing it yourself. But you can't use, like, the upgrade planner yourself. Oh, okay. If you, if you kind of get... Because if you want to do it yourself, you need to select the fast underground belt and click on it with that. Yeah, makes yeah, sense. So you just need, need to do it manually if you want, want to do it like that. But And also, um, it, when you have all of these upgrade planners and whatever in your inventory, uh, you can always destroy them uh, by opening them and clicking the destroy so that you can clear out your inventory if it's getting filled with random blueprints and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so the same actually works for deconstruction planner as well. Mm -hmm. If you place the deconstruction planner in your inventory and open it up, then you can mm -hmm. set uh, you can set filters for it. Oh, uh, nice. And the most useful filter for this is uh, filtering um, entities and then uh, clicking on trees, rocks only. Nice. Because then uh -huh. you can use that deconstruction planner and that'll just destroy all the forests and whatever around you. Yeah. 
Are trucks also, uh, uh, rocks the cliffs or? Uh, cliffs are not unfortunately rocks. So if you want to make a filter that uh, destroys all the trees and all the rocks, then you actually have to click all the trees separately and, and the cliff and create that. I don't know why. Oh, okay. <laughs> and but it's yeah. still very useful. But yeah, I usually don't. I, I usually just have a deconstructor for, for rocks and trees and then just use the yeah. general deconstructor for cliffs. Uh -huh. Just being careful not to hit, the, hit them. Yeah. Hmm. This couple of places aren't going anywhere. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> they indeed are not. I wonder why that is. Oops. I just uh, cut power from, from the whole thing. Ah! Oh, no. There we go. Ah, ah belts. I hate them. <laughs> it's 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 a good thing and a bad thing um at the same time that you can okay so in in combat uh, there's a module called belt immunity equipment you can craft oh, that i see if you want you can use that to um if you equip that uh then you won't be moving around the belts okay it uses a little bit of power to keep you in place ah i see yeah but well, that's an option as well. Uh, okay, so now we have that. Uh, yeah, now we need to work. Now we gotta move this whole thing. So, you know, just like you have Ctrl C and Ctrl V that you can use, you do also have Ctrl X to cut and paste. Okay. So you can just use, like, pretty, pretty uh, familiar controls for those. Uh-huh. So I am actually now uh, working on the... Iron smelter here, even though I'm standing right next to you. I'm in another world. <laughs> Telling okay. the bots to do some stuff up here. I'm moving yeah, this whole I'm just waiting for the bots, but I basically got the belts. Alright. Good. Good, 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 good. Destruct all of that. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta wait for the bots. <laughs> and I think I, guess we... I could also just take some of the belts and enable my own robot and have, have them build it faster. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I also noticed that we are using all of our construction bots right now, and we don't have any buffer. So. Uh... Yes. Oh, that works so much faster. We are waiting the... Wait a minute, the... Bot assemblers are waiting for what? Uh, I just place the last four one by myself. <laughs> electric... Oh yeah, because we don't have any uh, plates being... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the construction bot construction stopped because we stopped receiving <laughs> copper plate. Okay. Yep, I, I just manually... Set the last. There were two segments missing in, in each two belts, so yeah. <laughs> I just placed them by hand. Now it's coming in. Yeah. Um, actually, one thing that we could do, uh, if you want to do it, um, you could create an upgrade planner mm -hmm. and tell it to upgrade any yellow, yellow uh, belts, underground belts, and splitters into red. Uh, belts, underground belts and splitters. Mm -hmm. And then just paint the whole map, whole mall with that. Mm -hmm. Just like the whole whole mall area there. Uh, make it use red belts. It's, yeah. it's probably not going to help us too much, but it's something we can do. So why not? Why not do a bit of an upgrade? Yeah. 
while I uh, set up this smelter. This is really gonna make all the bots busy. But at least we have bots working. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. Uh, I am actually gonna grab a car. Oh yeah, this is why I want some coal in my inventory. Why did all the bots steal my coal? I would assume that you may have told them to. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Okay. I'm just gonna oh, go a lot of upgrades. Oh, yeah. do it myself. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for the bots to do all of that, but upgrade is initiated. But you know, that's something that you can just like do and and just forget about it. Yeah, let the bots take care of it. So I know that some players like to create these sort of um, smaller bot networks and really kind of control how many bots are working around them. I usually like to, uh -huh. for, for at least like the main base, I just like to have one big network. It does mean mm -hmm. that sometimes bots fly around from like the other, other side of the map, but... Yeah. But yeah. I just like the ability to have as many bots around flying as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to want to add a stone loader. Stone uh, goes in stacks of 50. So I'm adding a stone loader to this station here. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to try the car? Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't understand what you said. There's a car, if you want to try oh. it out. <laughs> oh, I guess I entered with Enter? Yeah. Yeah. Don't crash into too many things. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh, it goes fast. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> also, don't run is me is there on. a little bit of steering lag for you too? Mm, like it, it mm, I wouldn't call it steering lag, but it's weird. It's it's a weird thing. It it it, <laughs> it controls weird. <laughs> it does. I guess I'll pay the stone a visit. If I can find it. Ah, oh, there it is. I found the stone. <laughs> uh, oh, but you can't the... drift with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also need to downgrade this. So, um, oh yeah, the upgrade planner works both ways. So you can also downgrade with it. Okay. Does the car crash into belts or does it drive over it? Uh, it, it drives over belts. Okay. Uh, belts and Ow. train tracks and uh, yeah, you can run over trees with it. <laughs> I love how trees have a health bar. Yeah. Oh, and my card has one too, oops. Yep. Uh, actually, <laughs> let me give you... Uh, grab these. <laughs> grab the repair packs from that chest. I will. Uh, so your bots can automatically repair things. Okay. <laughs> including the including car. Nice. When you destroy it. <laughs> uh, well, no, not if you destroy it. If you destroy it, yeah, they before I destroy fix it. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it has working headlights. That's so much better than than satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually useful. And uh, it does also have gun. Oh yeah, right. You uh, can. Oh god. But you um. don't have any ammo for it. Uh, <laughs> but there's also a tank if you want to try that. 
It, it's basically the same, just slower. Yeah. Um, if I have ammo ignition right. for it, uh, ammo ammunition, um, ammunition for it, um, can I shoot down trees with it? Uh, yes. Uh, no, wait, that one. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. With the car or the or the tank, um, I can mm -hmm. actually give you uh, some ammo. Uh, I have some in my inventory. Oh my god! Uh, stop! 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 Yeah, it, it it keeps going if you if you jump uh, out of it. That's different from satisfactory. <laughs> it doesn't just stop right <laughs> right where it is. Except the bug. Do you know the bug in satisfactory when you exit a vehicle? It sometimes keeps going. No. No, <laughs> I did that once, and I had it like tr turn sharp right, so it continued to drove in circle uh, to drive in circles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> but yeah, so w when you when you pick up the uh, piercing ammo, uh -huh. uh, it's gonna automatically go into your into your weapon, probably uh, in your uh, lower right. Uh, I only have. Like, is it the, the oh, yellow ammo? Because I don't okay. have a pistol. Yeah, no, no. Oh, okay, you had already ammo. Okay, so no. Uh, so yeah, you need to just open the inventory of the tank and put that ammo in there. Oh, okay. Mm, obviously, the tank can use, like, it can use a flamethrower and it can use a cannon, but uh, I don't have any of the ammo right now, so... Mm-hmm. But yeah, you can actually uh, you can actually shoot trees even while you're running around with your pistol. You shoot by by uh, targeting the thing and uh, hitting C, or you can hold C down and then just hover over the tree okay. and then shoot it if you're in range. In, in the tank menu, there's a weapon control driver or passenger. Does that mean that you can drive it with two people and one shoots and one drives? Does it? <laughs> Apparently. Let's try. <laughs> Do you want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Okay. Uh, can, can you enter it now? I... Yep, I'm in it. I... Oh, you're the driver. Okay, I guess I'm the... Nope, you're the driver. I'm the driver? Oh, I am. Okay, yeah. can you can you shoot? Uh, hold on. I'll get over Drive close to those trees. <laughs> ah, oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. I forgot the... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's so cool! Nice! Well, that's actually pretty nice. That that's really to... useful for combat, I guess. Yeah. But actually, the tank. Uh, drive drive at the trees. I'll Just try. drive drive into them. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a tank. <laughs> it can actually I guess just... it causes more damage in the factory than... Um... Like when you ram into it with a uh, yeah one? yeah yeah don't don't yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't <laughs> don't ram into things with either one. Can, can I drive over the storage crate? It's empty. Uh, yeah, you can test it out. <laughs> okay, it doesn't die immediately and only loses half its half. Yeah, no. half its. And you were also not like going at full speed there. Yeah, but I almost at full speed. Uh. <laughs> it's such an intuitive way that you enter the vehicle with enter, and yet I still can't figure it out. <laughs> it's well, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's not it's weird. <laughs> but I love it. Like it's enter, enter to yeah. enter. What yeah. else? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. We need. Two of these and twelve of these. Not that many. So how, how's it going with the stone? There we go. Uh, we just need to get this station up oh, and you're running working at here. The... Okay. I see. Um, but yeah, actually, um, do you wanna do you wanna work on the iron here, or do you wanna work on the stone? Um, do, you, do you want to like you can fix the stone, uh, or you can fix the iron, or then you can build new things with the stone um so i guess for the iron it's rerouting the belts to the existing no the existing outputs to the new inputs yeah and then you need to build some electric furnaces for that and just make sure that everything's like kind of working on that 
Uh, just going okay, into the yeah. station. Uh huh. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I was thinking that, like the the bottom, like just move this 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 belt here to go yeah. here. Yeah. And then the other one goes where it's already pointing. Yeah. And then it goes into the um. The just make sure it goes into the right. Uh, train station. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll, I'll work on the stone uh, once I finish this station. Making sure there's everything. So, yeah, theoretically, you can use the, use the car to go back to the factory faster if you want, or the mall. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but just don't... Don't crash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, okay, nothing here. I think <clears throat> everything is... No, we still need 12 of those. So it's actually a handy thing, uh, the alerts down there. You can see, actually, you can look at the alerts to see how many electric furnaces you need. Uh-huh. And I also need two of these speakers, and I need eight pumps. And four of those. Although it's probably not for this section, but... No, I need one steel. <laughs> one I steel guess plate. I can get you one. I have nah. one. So oh, you're one. you're right there. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, have we figured out how we drop things yet? Nope. But there's a chest right, right here. What happens if I drag it out of my inventory? No. N nothing. It just. Okay. It just builds. Yeah. Um. Actually, I guess we could look into controls. Is there like? Drop item is Z. Z. Like, if I have it like this? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. It's there. Drop one item of what you are holding on the ground, on a belt, or into a machine. Yep. Okay. I've never used that. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I think this is now complete... Yes, those are actually the other ones. Ah! Oh, that's the front. Oh, wait, that's the front. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crash. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, can I get over? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, I'll walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave the car standing somewhere. No, wait. That's not a good place to live instead. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes with the exoskeleton, that's also a good idea. Uh, you can also just pick up the car, just deconstruct oh. it. Okay. If you know um, where to drive, I guess it's quite quite a good. Idea. Oh, follow power lines. Why not? Huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, 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 um. That and that. Uh, okay. So, stone. Let's look at this thing. This is more mine. This is also going to be pretty easy because we're not going to be smelting the stone down to anything on site. I just need to build some miners okay. and that's it. Wait, do you smelt stone? Uh, yeah, you can create stone bricks. So you can smelt it? Yeah, you don't, like, exactly smelt it, but, yeah, it, it's in, in the smelter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just asking, because then I finally know why, why Snitz tried to smelt uh, his concrete. <laughs> he played too much Factorio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You do create uh, stone out of it. Um, stone bricks. With the furnace. Uh-huh.
run out of drills, so I'll just let the bots take care of that at some point. Uh, we do need to bring the bots closer though. One thing in there, destroy this forest. Forests are bad, remember that. <laughs> they get in your way. But they eat up our pollution, right? Yeah, but... That's just... That's just what <laughs> progress is. Ah, I see. Without a little bit of pollution, how can you know that things are... Things are civilized. <laughs> so, I mean, I... I don't know what the goal of Fix-It is in Satisfactory. Like, why? They, they just want to exploit the planet and, like, build stuff with the resources. Um, but in... In Factorio, um, I guess you kind of missed out on the intro. Uh, yeah, it's your own escape, right? You need to escape the, the Yeah, you, you crash land onto yeah. the planet, and the idea is that you just try to make your way out of here. Yeah, or, or like that's, I, I got most... Hmm? Yeah, like, that's, that's technically what it is, but then again, like... Um, once you build the rocket, you don't actually leave it, leave the planet. You just keep <laughs> keep researching. Yeah, because you get greedy, right? Like <laughs> like it's always the case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so which side is the? I guess the input for the um, for the steel. No, iron is are the one the four belts going already to the station. Uh, yeah, that's that's where the iron is go, that station. Okay. okay. Uh, but cool. you can move the. I mean, you can use those belts actually. Probably easiest that way. Yeah. I'll just bring I'll the stone uh, below it. Mm -hmm. The stations are kind of in the opposite direction, opposite, opposite order to what they should be. When yeah. you think about it, but. Yeah. I guess that's that's the way it goes when you use the template, right? Um. No, it's just that I I just didn't think of this before building it. Oh, okay. Like I should have made the stone stone mine be on this side instead of the. Do you, you realize that you that you could have blamed it on the uh, blueprint right now, right? Yeah, didn't have to take the blame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was it was me. Bad design. Didn't think through. Oh no! Let's go down. <laughs> ah, sometimes you just need to kind of build things in the opposite order to find out how you are supposed to do it. <laughs> Starting from the end. Learning by doing. Go. <laughs> oh yeah, and one thing that I don't still like I'm I'm not good at doing, but which I know is a thing, is that uh, you use R to rotate. But then you use uh -huh. Shift R if you want to rotate the other way. Okay. But usually I just end up clicking three times. I mean, I don't have any idea how in which direction R rotates, so I would need to know that in order to make useful use of Shift R. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, that 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 too. <laughs> 
Oh, I just made useful sense of it. Great. We have stone. Nice. We just need an actual train to move it around. Whoops. There we go. Let me place this train down. Oh no! Stop stealing my bots. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so your your robot bot that you're using right now is limited to 10 bots. Uh-huh. Um, I have four of those personal robot bots. So okay. I can use so that's why I can use 40 bots. I see. And it also means that my um, <clears throat> my construction area is actually bigger than yours. Uh, okay. It it's um, what's the English term for it? Um, I need so the construction area increases not by like the same amount. One construction uh, area is thirty by thirty for one bot pot. Uh huh. But I have a sixty by sixty area, but that's because I have four rubber ports. Okay. So it's I I I don't I don't remember how to say that, but anyways, that's how it is. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're you're building around the pole. That's interesting. You could have just destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw it there on my way up for the second row, so I thought, well, the third row can go over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this needs to be actually fueled up. I hope I didn't uh, violate any uh, factorial guidelines with that. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Uh, why don't I... <clears throat> why do I not have any coal in my inventory? <laughs> You're asking this question very often, <laughs> if I may say so. <laughs> why are these bots not doing their job? Ah, fine. Hmm. I'll do it myself. I'll feed this a little bit of coal. Because right now this train is uh, sort of in the wrong spot mm -hmm. for, for that. Oh yeah, this station hasn't been named yet. So this is a stone L. Again, remember when building all the stations, you need to just name, name them the same thing. Yep. So the trains know where to go. Oh man, I intelligent uh, trains, that's the dream of every satisfactory player, right? Yep. But I mean, I was I, I was a bit disappointed with trains because, you know, coming from this game, I I was like, the first time I was building them, I I was designing this whole like two two rail system because Obviously, you need. If you want more than one train on the circuit, you need rails so that they can pass each other. But mm -hmm. <laughs> when I realized that oh, they can just drive through each other, then I got <laughs> then I got sad. Yeah, I can imagine it. I actually, it it never occurred to me that they might collide. I was just like, it, it was so intuitive for me that they would just drive through each other and. When I, I built the train tracks, because at that time at that time I built together with a friend of mine who, who uh, showed me the game, yeah. and um, I was building the loop, and then was like, wait, what if we want to split off or like have another train go the other way or whatever? Um, do they really pass through each other? Oh yeah, totally. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I somehow assumed it, but I never like fact checked it. <laughs> yeah. I love how the two trains, uh, the two um, belt uh, tracks intersect with each other. Yeah, like like you can see, like this <laughs> station should have been the other way around, but <laughs> but also it's not the end of the world that they aren't. So I'll just leave it like uh, that. Should I upgrade the other ones to red belts too? Yeah, you can you can red belt it. I have my. 
Um, I think that our mall is not going to be using this much uh, iron plate, so I feel like at some point this is going to get kind of uh, filled up. Okay. So uh, the level of the belt is not going to matter, but... Okay. But, you know, down the line as we expand and we have more stations that uh, unload these things, then it's going to be good to have extras. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing, uh, another way to travel is actually by train. So, um, mm -hmm. let me go and build us some locomotives. Yeah. Because you may have noticed that the train station actually has, like, a few extra stations that don't actually connect to anything. <laughs> Did you die? Okay, I won't drive anymore. No. <laughs> I drove into a power pole, and I wanted to back up, and I crashed into the next power pole. <laughs> uh-huh. Did you destroy the power pole? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I, I have my repair bots. The, the power poles are fine. I just have to figure out in which way I'm going. Sure, Where's the front? Sure, sure, there, sure. there it is. Okay. Sure, Ooh. sure, 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 sure. <laughs> oh, that was so... I crashed into the other one because the belt was moving me around. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. They do move the... <laughs> that's um, mean. That's actually... But that's actually something you can use for some fun builds uh, later on. Um, or, or whenever you want. Uh, is... You can kind of have... Uh, one thing that I've experimented with is uh, this sort of... Um, and, and I've seen some other people do it as well, is, for example, for, for tanks, because the tank can obviously also be um, fueled and equipped by inserters. Uh-huh. So um, a design that you could make is this sort of like automatic refueling base mm -hmm. where you only need to drive the tank to some transport belts and then the belts are going <laughs> to take the tank around a, a short loop which will refuel uh -huh. it and uh, rearm it with equipment and then oh, bring it great. bring it to a new new spot where you can leave it quite easily mm -hmm. so you don't need to by hand put anything into the tank uh, all of that happens automatically, and also um, the reason why you want to use some transport belts there is because otherwise it can be quite uh, tedious to try and like back the tank into a specific spot without hitting the inserters and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, uh, I wanted some engines. Uh, here we go, and uh, let's build. Two locomotives. Uh, I'm afraid I'll have to call it a day for now, though. So I All guess right. I'll miss out of on the locomotive fun. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Do you want me to put my stuff in a storage crate so if someone else needs it or you need it, you can take it? Or uh, no. I mean, this is you. There's so much stuff that you know. You probably don't have anything like. <laughs> Whatever unique things you have is something that you will need anyway, so... Yeah, okay. No, no, hold on to it. But yeah, the locomotive, uh, the personal locomotive stuff is just like you just build trains here. With right, just okay. locomotives, without cargo trains, and then you can use uh, manual mode to go into different if stations you... with that. If you drive manually, how do you control where you go? Um, no, when, not if. Well, you press W for forward, S for backwards, and then turn with A and D. Choose which yeah, one, but like, which track you go. Oh, so you, you, um, how do you call the split points on tracks? I forgot the word for it. Um, uh, I don't remember. But yeah, you, you just <laughs> use, okay. yeah. like, if you want to go right... You hold A. If you're gonna go left, you hold hold uh No. The other way around. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very intuitive though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. 
Oh, they should definitely do that in uh, Satisfactory. Yeah, and you can't... Oh, but uh, you have to react quick, right? Because you're going so fast. Well, yeah, you can also go slower if you, like, break. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. But at full um, speed, getting the right exit on the roundabout can be tricky, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's that's actually why you probably don't want to do it manually. Uh, yeah. You, you just... Or you, because you can just click on a station, another station, mm -hmm. and uh, then the train will drive you there automatically. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess I'll try that the next time then when I'm, yeah. when I'm back. Um, I'll despawn just in inside of the of the storage of the wood burning inserters. That feels like a good good place. So <laughs> get yeah, get proper amounts of of uh, CO two and carbon yeah. monoxide until I'm back. Yeah, that's probably safe. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right, but thanks for joining in. Yeah, thanks for hosting it. Uh, it was great fun, and thanks for teaching me all the stuff. That was really interesting, and I think I'll get even less sleep now because I'll probably want to play the game for myself. <laughs> yeah, this one um, as well. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> and see you next time. Yeah, see you. I'll keep, uh, I'll keep working on this for a bit here. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead and uh, we should have the stone coming in. It's going to come into this uh, eventually when once it fills up here. Uh, it seems to take a while because, yeah, it's just... It just takes a while for it to kind of get into the swing of things. But yeah, once this is filled, uh, then the stone, like the stone train should actually be coming soon. Wait a minute, why? It is full. Why isn't it moving? Um, it's an automatic. It has a full cargo inventory. Why is it not moving? I'll tell it, like, manually to go back to the station and do that again. Okay. I don't know why... why it didn't... move. But now it's gonna come in here. And uh, we're gonna basically do the same thing as what's going on with this whole... Oh, another moment where we should have planned this better. Mm, I'm going to move this copper line up by one, so we can have a stone line actually go next to it. So I'm just going to pick all of this up. Uh, wait a minute, I don't need to... Yeah, I don't need to do that. I can actually specifically... Yeah, I'll, I'll just do this. And that turns that way, that goes up here and comes up here. So we're just kind of building this part. And then they connect like that and uh, that one connects to that. And as this plate gets used up, it'll get out of the way. Uh, and in the meantime, um, I guess we're just like, we are just using one of these lines from, uh, yeah, just one of these lines. It's gonna get used. Uh, it needs to go on the other side of the copper line here. Like so. And then it just gets fed into here. Like so. Uh, this one needs to... Yeah, that's correct. Mm, I'm just gonna empty this piece of pack here. So 
they don't mix. I think at this point we should probably start doing the rest of the research as well, since we now have good amounts of resources coming in. So that's going to connect to this. Um, I'm probably going to let it still connect. These need to... Uh, what should we do here? We could use a storage chest system, I guess, to keep this, because we do want to empty these. So that's 5.7k. Mm, how much is that in storage chest? That's 48. So we need two chests? Question mark. So let's have an inserter here. Kind of working on that stuff. Uh, I got a connection from there. Oh wait, I can't ghost that. Need to actually build it. There we go. So that should empty the copper. Hopefully. Should this actually be a, even a stack inserter? We are researching fast. Oh, now, yeah, we are getting stone in. So that's going to slow down this other stone quite a bit. But it does seem like we have already gotten rid of part of it. So these are dead. I'll take them apart. And um, this one's dead. Yeah, there's only a few pieces of stone left. And it's not much better for copper either. don't know if we need this because like we have we have plenty of power and we can always upgrade we can always create more solar so I don't know if we actually want to keep this here the solar fields can just be expanded in fact we probably should do a quick expansion now that we have resources coming in again. So just expand with another cell. We need to also upgrade our radar coverage of this area. <clears throat> Lab research speed up. Yeah. I think we can we can forget about that. Once the coal is coal is dried out of this area, I guess we'll do that. Uh what happened here? Well fixed. Hmm. We can, like, compact some of this stuff. Uh, for example, this one, I think we could just, like, turn this whole system around uh, so that it's vertical. And, um... I mean, you know what, we could just, uh, just as well replace this with electric furnaces. If I build an electric furnace system right here, that would need to be after this, maybe. Oh! Ah, stone is being attacked. Oh no, I don't have my car. No! Where's the car? Oh no. Oh no. Can I build one? Yep. Build a car, quickly. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Found it, found it, found it. Let's go. New. No. 
Stop. Stop. <clears throat> you there. You violated the law. Where did it come from? This one. Okay, let's go and uh, clear that out. Could probably use the rockets. I mean, we have the tank, so... I don't know. Rockets? Tank? Tank. Oh yeah, we have a combat protocol here as well. Haven't done any fighting in a while, so... I've forgotten about all of this. Uh, I gave all my grenades away, but we can probably just use... The gun. Oh, the gun, please. Big biters. Those are troublesome. They have evolved quite a bit now. Can run over one of these big worms with just one, I think. Then it slows me down a little bit too much. Um, let's get repairs. Let's move on the next one. It's a bit of a bigger one. I think big biters can also be run over. Clear these out. Uh, explosive rocketry up next. They got kind of mad because we expanded and also started using some more pollution here. So polluting the area. We can maybe consider building a sort of laser turret wall. Some expandable outposts of laser turrets. It's never not a good idea. Yeah, we're running kind of low on ammo here. Ah, we are being slowed down way too much. Gotta go back. Some quick repairs and then we'll just ram these worms. Uh, discharge defense. Oh. Those back in. Let's go. Ramming speed. Oh, let's actually see. Can we ram two? I think you can only ram one. Big worm before you lose a bit too much speed. Oh, it does work. Well, that's handy. Okay, uh, laser turret shooting speed. Um, yeah, we still have a few few things that we can research before needing purple. But the upgrade is gonna be required soon enough. We have some forest worms here. Get out of my swamp. Um, like the long term uh, plan is to block off this area and that area. Uh, maybe this and that as well. There's some nice resources here, but That could be part of the wall. Maybe then just this and that. 
that's a bit of a long wall, but one here that gives us quite a lot of space, at least at least uh, as one stage of defense. We can always uh, build more of it. Mm. What was I doing before everything exploded? Also, yeah, I got a car. Stop that. Um, I forget what I was doing. Probably nothing important. Right? Um, what is this? Uh, this requires us to push in uh, oil. It was for this oil field that we had that one. So we could do crude oil there and there. And we could actually have an oil car here as well. Uh, connecting the oil fields together. That's actually a handy idea. Is it much of a priority though? I'm not sure. Is this, uh, it seems like the iron plate is actually being used up faster than the train can handle. I'm going to build another locomotive to handle that. So we have two on iron plate duty. Uh, so let's grab some more engine units. Uh, we need green circuits and we need steel. Steel plate and green circuits. And uh, two locomotives. Probably need some of these. No, actually, we have plenty of iron gear wheels. Sometimes you just. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about rerouting this thing. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and place down this other locomotive. Why is it not getting refueled, though? What's up? Uh, oh, because this is a different color. Um, this needs to be... I mean, is there any reason why this can't be the same raid as the one around? No, no. This can all be red. Uh, so let's upgrade yellow to red. On these, uh, get them connected the same way. Uh, so that this gets fuel over here. And then cargo wagons, and this is going to be another iron train. Um, so iron plate loader into iron plate unloader. Loader uh, is full cargo and unloader is empty cargo. And automatic. And now once this fuel comes in, it should... Wait, it should already be coming in. Why is it not getting fueled up? Waiting for source items. I mean... Why aren't you... Why? Is this reading the fuel contents of the train? I think it is. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> but it's not reading it correctly here, I guess. So let's give it a bit of fuel here. It should get properly refueled once it comes back. 
Um, refined flammables. Don't really use flammables all that often, but at least we'll get a refinement on that. Um, so how would this work? Uh, we have... How many do we have here? We have 4, 8, uh, 12. So if we want to do a 24 electric furnace setup, we're going to need a bunch of stone brick mm, from here. We're going to need... Oh, that's it. 24. There we go. So it would kind of like, uh, it's this one line here, so we could have this. Uh, maybe it's going to kind of snake around. No, it doesn't make any sense. Nah. <clears throat> it's getting, yeah, it does, it, it does need to get split into two and then kind of just round the whole thing. Um... I mean, if I route it all the way around up here, then we can have it work. Uh, this coal line, I think we're going to move it closer to this side. So, yeah, because it's kind of, kind of getting, it is wasted here. So the coal line is going to go and it's going to... Turn around from here. So that's actually right there. And this should be... Red. Uh, it'll be allowed to go through here. Uh, we'll, we'll look at the coal line later. So we can just demolish this for now. Uh, it does not need to be here. We'll just rebuild it at some point. Hopefully I'll remember to do that, though. Uh, so this goes up here, and then uh, it needs to... So it needs a split. It makes a split, and then it goes into two. I guess this is fine goes in like this, and then this one goes in uh, like so, and then we have the electric furnaces here. There and there. Then just 24 of these, really? Maybe less. Maybe as many as we can fit here, so... Uh, that's just me to... no. So actually, this is the amount of them. Like so. That gets turned around like that. These are pushed in. And then they all exit out into the center and form one steel line. Uh, this area is connected to some power, so we want to make sure that isn't exactly blown up like this. So let's connect those. Um, yeah, it just goes like this, and this, and that. And that connects like so. There we go. I'll upgrade this little bit here. Uh, everything here can be demolished now. Yeah. Just take all of that apart. I'm going to have so much stone 
or uh, steel plate in my inventory. That is crazy. There was actually some wood in my inventory because I've, at one point I've hand fed this wood that I happen to have and uh, they have not used it up since then. So uh, that's been a while. But I guess the logistic bots are going to come in and take care of that for me. Okay, that's it. Been cleared out. Um, we bring this over. Just needs to go right there. And then we need some inserters in here. I don't know if, like usually I don't care to think too much whether whether you can just use a normal inserter insert instead of fast one. Would be more economical to use the correct inserter depending on how much you actually need, but Usually I don't care to think of it that much. Most of the time I'm just going to use fast inserters. Unless it's really clear that you only want a smaller one. And then we need some medium poles here to power all of this up. Uh, it, it requires like one pole there, one pole there, and one pole there. And then just repeat same pattern there we go uh, these are not needed huh the mall suddenly became a lot smaller Um, another, we could do the kind of the same thing with this side as well for the stone. Electrify that as well. Which really cuts down, actually it really cuts down on the amount of coal that this whole setup needs. So I think we are going to, um, once we bring a coal train... We are actually going to just bring in one line of coal that's going to split. I think that to remember that I'm just going to remove this part here. So it's obvious that you only bring in one line of coal. Okay, that's not where it needs to be pointing. Uh, so this one then, um, we could have it go between these. It should probably go between these, actually. Mm, so let's bring it up this way. It goes here, and then uh, goes like this, and that, and then we just have it uh, undergrounding its way through this section. I think it's like, yep, it's enough. Mm, I'll just use regular belt here to bring it all the way over here. Uh, this needs to be upgraded as well. So there aren't any, let's check to make sure there aren't any like bottlenecks on this. The mall itself should be fully upgraded now. There's some areas that aren't quite yet there, there but that's fine. Um, so, what's the problem here? Is this receiving? It's full.
Why are these not moving around? That one's not receiving. Uh, I just realized it's not connected to... Oh, it's not connected to anything. Okay, so the second locomotive doesn't even make sense. But this one... Why is it stopped? Why do they not move automatically? Hmm. The null station is there, like it's working correctly in that sense. For some reason they just... Huh, let's look at that again here. Like, this is also filled up, so it shouldn't be a problem with the supply or anything. Oh, wait. Wait, is one of these uh, actually looking at the train's fuel level? Is it trying to refuel the train over there? But that doesn't explain why this one wasn't moving. Oh, because this isn't empty. That's... That's, it's waiting to be emptied. Um, but... Let's see. Like the... These inserters... They are filled... Let's follow this train. It goes in here, and it starts getting filled up. It's waiting for full cargo inventory. It's getting input signals here. It's got to be the the signals here. That's not putting T. Is this the cargo amount? I think this is the amount that the train is getting filled with. So once these are full... Yeah, I think it is. So once these are full, this train should be leaving. I think I need to reinvestigate this... <laughs> this print. Like, I don't think that the logic has changed at any point. That's looking for 16k. That's looking for 8k. Because 16k is what this can hold. Yeah, now it's full. Is this actually the input of this? What the... Uh, what now? Because it should be... <sighs> I feel like I did do some sort of a modification to this. 15k T. But that's 16k. Cargo contents 15k. What? 4k for 3.9k. What? Why is this one...
Why is this one not filling up? I need to go in there and uh, investigate this. On location. Uh, oh yeah, problem is that we don't have the... Pack stations aren't called anything. Um, or two... I'm just gonna go in manual. Whee! And this is... I don't, know, I don't really know what to call these things. Uh, maybe we could call it something based on like what it's doing. It's, it's using iron, oil, stone. Eroist, too? <laughs> I don't know. It's now erased. Uh, anyways. So. Why are you not... Enabled when A is 2. All of these are... Are connected to the same network. They have the same enabled condition. A equals 2. Where are they getting A from? We have C, here's A. Outputting A if each uh, is plus 0. If S if A, is, A is less than 16k output red. Oh, the colors, yeah. Um, like, this is looking for 16k. Let's start with that. If C is divisible by 16, output S. S is, is the control signal. It's not divisible by 16 right now. No, C is always divisible by 16. This is outputting S constantly. It is outputting S currently. This needs to be outputting an A. So what is what is wrong with this? Let's see. Light instead of activity. Yeah, like this is this is reading. Oh, the stone one is moving apparently. This is reading the amounts in the train. Let's see, is the stone uh, actually activated? It's not empty, so it's not going to be moving anymore. Um, so, yeah, this needs to be filled up to full so that it moves, because it's now this is missing one. Plate. What could be causing that? I, I mean, I can just hand add that and it'll go. But what could be causing that? Is it the. Could it just be like a glitch with the amount of inserter capacity that we happen to have right now?
This is, uh, confusing. Let's look at it once more. One more time. Oh, also, we are, uh, we are running low on blue science here, so... We should not do any more science after this one. <laughs> so things get to, uh, kind of work themselves out. Hmm. Herm. We have the solar fields here getting built up again. Getting more power. That's always nice. Let's see now. Train should be coming over soon. There it is. It's leaving and soon it'll come over here and should be able to see how it goes around. Hmm. Now it's getting filled up. Everything is getting filled up correctly here. They are getting filled up in a slightly different amounts. Could it be that the one belt is not receiving as much as the others? Oh, one thing... No, wait, it, it does have a balancer here, so that shouldn't matter. It already balances it at the end point here. Hmm. They are getting filled up like correctly. This one is getting filled up in a slightly weirder way than the others. Probably because it's receiving less. Oh, now it works. I don't know anymore. There must be some sort of weird glitch with that then. Um, let's go for more two. Uh, we can also add Ebrois two here. So let's go for more two. Hmm. I have no idea what's up with that. Hey, wait a minute. Oh yeah, now it's all automatic. Ah. Uh, uh, passenger. Um, wait a minute. I wanted to have inactivity here, and then it's. Wait, wait. Passenger present. And passenger present. There we go. Let's get it back to more to just to check on the logic here. So it should always kind of stop at the station and wait there until somebody jumps in. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll wait here forever until someone hops on. Um, okay, but we have made great, great progress here today. I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah, I think that's that for today. Uh, it's up here. Whoop. Thank you everyone for joining in. Uh, thank you for Mo thank you to Morgan for for joining in on the on the game. It was a lot of fun. Um, we got a lot a lot done, and there's a lot to do uh, also. So 
Um, if anyone wants to join in on the Factorio uh, next week, it's going to be the same same uh, place, same time, same day. Uh, Thursdays are going to be Factorio days, with uh, Tuesdays being satisfactory days. So uh, you can join in all the games and we can have fun with this. Anyways, uh, let's see where we're going to head off to then. Um, why is Twitch being weird? It's always being weird. Hmm. I can't see. <laughs> it's not. It's not showing me anybody I'm following. Hmm. Error loading data. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you very much. That is very nice of you. Is mobile working? Nope. Twitch down. <laughs> hmm. Can I think of anyone who I know is on? Oh, actually, I think um, Sin is actually on. Let's see. Let's see if we can even raid then. But uh, Sin is shy. -ish. Let's go over there and uh, see if Twitch is working. <laughs> Anyways, again, thanks everyone for joining in. Tomorrow we'll be playing some um, Shyperpunk. Uh, will be great continuing that. And then uh, on Saturday, some more music. Looking forward to that one as well. Anyway, thanks all. Bye. 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 Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's apparently not working. <laughs> Rating's not working either. Twitch is dead. Hopefully, somebody can still. I mean, I can I can watch I can watch Sin, so uh, you can probably hear me still. So <laughs> let's just go there. Sin is shy. Uh, let's do a shout out in there, and you can come in and uh, just jump in to the channel. Uh, Sin of Shish. There we go. Just click on that link and join in and let's go say hi to Sin. <laughs> Twitch. Get your get your things together. Bye.